Later. Hello everyone, this is Mr. Lassa. Lassa, smile. Hey yo. Hey -o. We are playing a 2000 point Arcs of Omen battle report. I'm bringing the Goths, he's bringing the what? The Chaos Knights. Dis Big boys. Disgusting. Why play many models when you can have only a handful? Respect. Okay, so very first thing up, I am bringing the boys. We have 2000 points of the Goths. My warlord is a... Uh, war boss on foot with the brutal butt cunning and the uh, killer claw. I have a beast boss on squigsaur with beast hide mantle and proper killing for all the extra attacks. Bare bones smash a squig, the smashing off. He's gonna have four, five d six on the charge. Every fourth is a mortal wound on the charge. We've got one kill rig with squig high tires to make him really fast. He is full of beast snagger boys. Our goth rocker is proxying as our. Um, Freaking what, whatever his name is, Boss Zagstruck. I have a jetpack. I'm gonna be gluing onto him, and he's gonna be very exciting. Two units of commandos. Each one has a knob with a power claw. Then I got three units of obligatory aggression. There is a rent herd somewhere around here. Four kilocons with the rocket launches. A unit of three squig hog boys. A truck with the truck boys. Two units of storm boys. One five man. One eight man with power claw. And then finally two units of knobs. There are six claws and uh, three big choppers, and then five big, big choppers over here. So that is the army, and we are excited to get over to Lassa's army. All right, Lassa, you bring the Chaos Knights. You want to walk us through what you got? Right. What do we have here? So it's not a lot. It's uh, nine models total. Mm -hmm. I have uh, my warlord over here. Uh, he's a big ass abominant with a pretty little tail on the bottom. You. Uh, he has a big fuck off gun and a big fuck off tentacles, uh, as long as uh, with his tail as well. He has two war traits. He uh, has the infernal quest and the aura of terror, which means that he will do more. Jesus, you're tall. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you'll have to roll more dice if you're within his red range, and uh, he is also opsec. Ooh, so scary. He's, he's ten models. Um, he has a cycler, of course. Uh, he brings field of pains to his uh, small minions, uh, if I roll high enough. And he also has a chain smite for uh, extra damage, because you're going to be stacking your models up, so spreading the love. <laughs> yeah, um, I also brought his buddy. Uh, his buddy is not opsec, unfortunately. And this is the captain of House Friedenland, correct? Uh, this is the captain of House Friedenland, absolutely. Beautiful. Uh, he is very angry in combat. He has an extra attack when he charges. Um, so he has like 6 attacks damage 6, uh, or 18 attacks damage 2. Perfect for slaughtering orcs, for marines. Same, same. Uh, his cannon is a big cannon as well. It's three shots, D3 plus six damage. Uh, strength 16, so yeah. Say goodbye to those uh, those uh, pesky strength sevens or less. Uh, he brings rerolls in range for these guys. Um, and he is very, very angry himself. Um, for the small ones, I'm bringing three executioners uh, with double knock these weapons, but the <laughs> Auto cannons. <laughs> Auto cannons, not Gatlings. Yeah, cool. they, they look cool over this. So Fair enough. Should be fine. Respect. Um, and uh, one of them has uh, the power to um, farm command points when you use your command points. Sure. And I'm also able to, when he kills enough, this guy right over here, I uh, can change any die roll to a six. Ooh. Perfect, in the way of the inch. Uh, he brought a buddy. This one has a demon breath cannon and claw. Uh, he's also able to fall back, advance and shoot as if he was stationary. And if he kills five wounds worth of mobs, he can also fall back, advance, charge. Terrifying. Uh, I brought two squads due to Arcs of Omen. I can now bring another unit of my choosing of carnivores. Uh, these are fully melee spec. I should probably just take away this saw because I'm probably not going to use it, but let's see. Um, they are very dangerous in melee. Um, due to me being house freedom, all of these knights have extra wounds as well. And their extra attacks and extra AP when they are on the charge or being charged. House Herpetrex wishes it was House Friedman. Yeah, we wish, right? Um, and their captain is over here, Captain My Captain. Uh, he's got the Blood Shield, who can turn off invul saves once per game. Unless he kills five wounds worth of models, then he can do it again. Brutal. And that's my list. 2,000 points. 1990. The perfect year to be born, right? you tighten. <laughs> Yeah. I'm tall. No, you're not. <laughs> All right, we'll catch up with you guys in just a moment after we do deployment. Yep. Hey, Lassa, are you ready for this? Let's fucking go. We are on Data Sky Salvage. Lassa has a potty mouth, but I love him anyway. <laughs> and this is the deployment right now. We have the 
what a Reaper, Reaper, not chain cannons, but the executioners right there. We've got the guy with a 72 inch gun of get dead. We've got a single guy who's going to hold the line back here. And then we've got two carnivores and his abominate with the mortal wound Volkite extravaganza. Then we're going over to the orc deployment. I have some storm boys hanging out back here with the Gretchen and the Red Herd. We've got the battle wagon full of all the knobs and the war boss. Sorry, I forgot to tell you guys had a battle wagon. Yeah, you probably knew. We've got the kill rig, 33 inch threat range right there. Then we've got our war boss and a knob and smash squig next to the truck. They are lookout served by the squig hog boys who I'm probably gonna try to teleport. And uh, then we've got uh, our, obviously our aggression back here as well. In strat reserve, I have some kill cons and some other nonsense. We're gonna roll off to see who goes first. What do you think, Lassa? What do we got? Um, none of us want to go second, so let's go. Whee! A four, two, eight. Ah! Uh, let's just roll, roll. That's fine. We'll call it a four. I get. Oh no! Six out of six. Okay. Chaos Knight's taking it. Do you think you have any chance? Uh, it's better now. All right. What are your secondaries? Uh, my secondaries are Assassin, because you're playing all the characters in the world. Seems reasonable. Yeah. I'm playing Ruthless Tyranny. It's my almost auto 15. Right. It's sitting on three objectives and just farming points. Sure, sure. Seems fine with my object. And then I'm playing a um, it's kind of a gamble. It's uh, Storm of Darkness. It's uh, I have to do actions and stand still for a turn, but it's four points per objective, so at least 12 points in my my edge over here hopefully perfect and then the orchard are bringing bring it down because why wouldn't we look at all these fantastic robots we got the get the good bits because obviously you're getting some good bits and then finally behind me line so we'll get back to you after the movement phase see you later we did the movement phase and we did a quick little psychic phase also the abominate came up and gave an aura of fiona pain to himself and these two carnivores they moved on up and then we got the guy who gets to advance and shoot the melton moved on up and then all this nonsense as well so now we're going to go into the shooting phase we're starting with the big boy the Night Rampager, is that right? That's the Desecrator. This is the Desecrator, excuse me. All right, Mr. Desecrator, what do we got? We're going to the kill rig, hitting yeah. on fours. So he has big, three big shots. Um, they're strength 16, so I'm just going to melt whatever. I'm just making sure that I do you everything You think right you're going to melt whatever. Um, so let's just see. I'm hitting on fours, uh, which is two hits. One hit. Uh, one, sorry, one hit. Uh, thinking of command pointing this one, I really think is worth it. Cool. Uh, winning it on a two, because right. it's a big gun. Uh, yeah, so that's a wood. All right, six up and one. Okay. Roll your damage. Um, so, D3 plus six. Terrifying. Boom. Take eight. Eight damage. Down to eight left. Cool. Um, and from there, I'm just going to have to think a little bit, and we have some other stuff going on. Eight. All right. We'll be back. All right, so now we're doing Volkite shots coming from the Knight Abominate, going right into the kill rig, trying to get those last eight wounds off. He is also minus one to hit because of the dents. Uh, as far as our terrain is concerned, these are denses. These are going to be difficult and light cover, and the rest are just ruins. Yeah, so I'm rolling five first, holding one just because I want to maybe re-roll something. All right, missed with two so far. Yeah, another four. That is a three of them. Point that one. Uh, doesn't help. All right, so drop three, but three hits. Yeah. Strength and what? Strength is, I believe, 14. It's 14. Over. It's it's a lot. Oh. Oh, okay. I'm learning so many things. <laughs> Just making sure. Yeah, you're uh, safe, man. I'm fishing for sixes anyway, so that's yeah. three model wins in addition. It's only AP1, so it doesn't really care too much. Mm -hmm. uh, it is... Um, strength. Oh, no. It's only strength 10. Oh, oh no. No. We're going to get threes. What do we got, baby? Um, so that is six mortal wounds and two saves, AP2, sir. AP2, I'm just gonna roll these. So, uh, saved one of them, how much damage was it? Uh, so it's six. Six mortals, and how much damage was the actual? Oh yeah, three. Three, all right, so he's dead. Yeah, cool. Let's see if he blows. He does not. Okie dokie, so you kill your kill rig. I'm just gonna place these models, but I'll, uh, I'll be right back with that. Arg, arg. Right. All right, we're back in it. All right, he killed the, uh, the kill rig. One beast naga died on the disembark. What do we got next, sir? Next, we have some pot shots. Pot shots. I said important things to Jonathan off screen here, but it is what it is. Pot we, just, we just cheersed our beers, okay? It wasn't that important. <laughs> it's true, it's true, it's true. So, some pot shots. I have no line of sight in here. No. Because that one is blocking. So, this one has four shots going into these boys. Cool. Hitting yes. on three. So, sorry. Four Minus fours. one. Thank you. Um, so, that is two, two threes and two fours. It's very important. The minus one. Yeah, it's rank five, baby. Fishing for fours? No. No. Okay. This is why I rolled the bad ones first, right? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> that's why your first shots were so bad. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, I have some tricks up my sleeve here, so I'm going to go with 
Some auto cannons over here. Auto cannons. Where it's are they shooting? D, uh, four D3 shots into your truck. Into the truck. Yeah, and four pot shots into the commandos. Yep, yep. So let's do the pot shots first. Pot shots. Threes. Ooh. And then fours. Let's go. That's two AP zero, sir. So I got three up armor saves against this because they are in cover. One. Dead. Dead. Okay, great. You can't borrow dice, dude. That's how it is. Going dead. They're betraying you. And then 4d3 shots. 4d3 shots, you scary boy. Uh, one and two, but... Six. Three and three. So eight. Yep. And they hit on threes, and your strength, the toughness... Six. Six. So, them fours, because you're silly goose. Even if I have strength seven, it's still fours, right? No, 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 strength seven, it's threes. Okay. Cool. Just minus one damage is all. Ah. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. So AP two, two. sixes, yep. three damage each. Yep. Uh, two damage each because yeah. you're a shackle, so, so that's two. eight yep. wounds. Get two left. Two left. Sweet. That's why I fish with him because now I can tinge it off with him behind here. Scary. Yeah. So he's gonna do pot shots. Uh, no, we can't see with any pot shots. So he's just gonna do the main shots. I need him to kill something, yep. which is why I'm doing it this way. And he is not touching the death, so he is still minus one. Yeah, that's fine. He's a reroll once due to him though. Cool, cool. So, amount of shots. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's fine. And then four is rerolling once. Uh, Ooh. Hi, yeah. All right, drop three, perfectly average. Yeah, and then again, winning on threes. Yes, and you need one of these to go through. One uh, went that through. That is one. And uh, I desperately want a six on this, right? Yeah. Because what, what does his upgrade do? Uh, you... I can change the roll to a six. Uh, well, I mean, it's not the worst, but. Oh, it is six. Look it. at that. Cool. All right, nerd. What's next? <laughs> okay. Um, Suffer. Then I need an advance and charge instead. So I'm going to do... No, I'm not. I'm just going to try to give him feel of pace. I think that's good as well. All right. I wanted to do that differently. Oh, I did already shoot Yeah, you already yeah, shot yeah. him. Get out. Get out of here. Get out of here. Hey, sorry, man. Sorry. <laughs> uh, let's do the Meltas then. Meltas. I need uh, something to take off here. So I'm just going to shoot the, uh, the thing over there. The yes. Two shots. Not minus one. No, not three, minus three, one. Three, three, one, one. Let's go. Woo. Go with it. Winning on threes. Yeah. Let's go. Two saves. AP a lot. Uh, you have AP, any on it? No, no, he's dead. Oh, he's does dead. he blow up? No, he does not. Cool. All right, so I'm just going to place those models, and then we'll be right back. We're back into it. Lhasa took a few extra pot shots, did nothing into the commandos. He did shoot his executioner and dealt two wounds to the battle wagon. And now we're on to the charge phase. We're going to shoot this carnivore right into these commandos. He has an eight-inch charge. Let's see if he makes it. Yeah, I mean, worst case, he's just going to stand there and he's going to get me some points. I'm okay. With oh no, you get points. Woo. But he's gonna get the points if I walk over anyways. Right. So. Uh, it's a win-win and he's gonna die anyways. So uh, it's an eight inch charge, pre-measured. Oh. And that is not an eight inch. That is not. I'm gonna leave it at that. You're not gonna CP it. I'm not gonna CP it. It's not wow. that important. You just it, lost the game, my friend. <laughs> I lost some points. That is true, but not the game. Uh, and then there's the EC3 inch charge over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh no, he's in. Yeah, this is the right here, you guys. What yeah. We're talking about. Mm. All right, just roll those dice real fast for us. Uh, what the twelve dice? Oh yeah, man, freaking roll them. <laughs> you don't, you don't know. Three, six, my, nine. My knob's gonna survive and smash well, you. So I'm gonna activate him. Yep. Very important about activation means that I can do extra piling. Uh, this. So what he's gonna do is he's gonna try to use the consolidation after he kills my guys to take this objective as well. Yeah. Um, Actually, so. put me on four objectives, and that's pretty good for me. Yeah. So hitting on three. Let's see and it. And winning you on. Putting you on... Speed 5, so 3. 3, yeah. Let's do it. With a sweet sofa. Oh, no. Oh, no. Is it all going to, to pieces? No, there's only 3 left. I think it'll be fine. Orcs have a chance. Orcs have a chance. Uh, nope, they do not. <laughs> What's your AP? Uh, it's AP, I believe it's 3. Oh, well, that'll go straight through then. Yeah. All right, well, that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Actually, you're hilariously, they're dead. <laughs> all right, uh, so that's going to be the end of the turn. He scored how much on your... Whatever, whatever. Yeah, so I'm going to do an action as well. Uh, so he's going to jump on over here. Yep, yep. Grab the other one so I have multiple objectives. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to do an action is on... Oh, uh, plus in the skull. Sorry for the, uh, for the beer break, people. Yeah. Not actually, sorry. Not actually, sorry. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do some actions here. I'm going to probably just let him stand back here. Okay. So he will do the action, which is done in my next shooting. So that means that he will not be able to move next turn, but he'll still stand oh, no. there and shoot. So he only has a 72-inch gun to shoot. Boom. Uh, and then I get five points from Ruthless Journey. Yep, yep. I did get some points from uh, Sassnet as well. And then I'm going to wait for him to come to me so I can kill the rest. Fair enough. Yeah, that's my plan. I love it. So, uh, we'll catch you at the beginning or after I do my movement phase. 
Later, guys. All right, everybody. We're into my turn one with the orcs. So what I did is I just kind of moved everything up because uh, I'm in a really bad position right now, and it's just what it, the way it is. This is, a, this is a tough matchup, but we will play on. So did you forget to walk? No, I did not forget to wog. There okay. was no wog. Okay, okay. There was no wog. That'll be on camera, good sir. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right, so the Smash and Knob is coming up. Uh, he and the Beast Boss and uh, the four remaining truck boys are going to eat this this little baby knight here. Yeah. Over here, I let out one unit of sm a small unit of knobs. Uh, Boss Zagstruck flew up, and they're going to eat this knight. My hope over here and my plan is I'm going to use these Beast Snagas, these commandos to charge here. And I'm going to try to allow this battle wagon here to charge after I charge my beast knight out of the way. That way he won't be able to shoot me with his big knight next turn because the big knight can't move next turn and then he won't really have any targets. These storm boys are getting the good bits and I got a little cheeky teleport spell off so I do have some squid cock boys in the back lines. Now they're going to die and I understand that but the whole point of them is they're going to get me uh, behind me lines turn one so maybe I can kind of hold up on the points game. So I'll get back to you. Um, actually right now it's shooting phase so we'll just go ahead and do shooting phase right now. Do it. So the very first thing that's going to happen is those guys, those squid hog boys, are going to shoot everything into your night abominant. Yeah. Or whatever. What's this called? Night? Uh, that's the um, Desecrator. Desecrator. Yeah. Forgive me. I didn't what's mean it. What's the damage? Damage. It's damage too. Yeah. AP1 uh, damage too. AP1. Yeah, AP1. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to be hitting him on four since he's vehicle. So I'm plus one to hit with my spears. All right. One hit. And it's going to be strength six. So wounds him on a five. No wound. And then the bomb squid is going to go. It hits him on a two. That's hits. So he's going to take one mortal wound. Feel no pain, baby. Yeah, take your feel no pain, you dirtbag. All right, take your one wound. I hope you love it. And then the grot gunners will not shoot because it's only eight inch range. So that was a vicious shooting phase. Um, I don't know how he's ever going to forgive me for that. I will actually shoot the beast snagger boys. That's important. I will actually shoot the beast snagger boys. So let me grab a few dice here. I need nine. That's five. And they're going to hit him on four with their pistols. And that's going to get me actually pretty decent shots. And I'm going to win him on fives with the sluggers. There's no AP on these. That's going to be one save. No AP. Oh, he saved it. Okay, cool. So that's a vicious shooting phase. Now we're just going to move right on into the charge phase. This is actually quite simple. Uh, I'm going to charge the knob on Smash Swig into this dude. Yeah. Would you like to overwatch that? Wait, that wait. was a no. <laughs> He's going to go <laughs> three inches. That does make it, but I'm just going to reroll it. All right, he'll go seven. I think seven's better. Um, would you mind just measuring for me while I hold this? Where do you want to go? I'm just going to take him like up here. Yeah, cool. range right there. I'm just going to put him like right like that. Cool. And then we're going to run the uh, truck boys. And he's going to need probably like four. Uh, actually, I have to pass a dread test first. No. I don't pass dread test. Oh, this is turn one. Right, right, right. Turn one, yeah. So that is a seven. And they're just going to pile in over here as well. Just getting out of the way. And now I have OPSEC on this objective, which is a nice thing. I do too, though. Let's be honest. Though. I'm just saying. <laughs> and then my Beast Boss and Squiggy Sword is also in charge in. This is an important one. This is an important one. This will be like a six. Uh, five, could you measure that for me? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. I think that's. I don't think that's going to make it. I think I will probably have to reroll that. Oh, that's outside. Oh, yeah. He has a six. And he doesn't, so I'm fucked. Oh, I have my language. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so so what you're saying is there's a chance. No, what I'm saying is that you don't die. Uh, but <laughs> basically, the Nomad Smash Squig does. Mortar wins on the charge. Let's see. You'll take three mortar wins. Yep. He's down to 11. Cool, cool, cool. And then, um, actually, real fast, I will shoot Boss Zach's trucks. Um, missiles, I forgot to do that. Jeez. Forgive me. I'm Hats. sorry. Forgive me. He's got D3 shots. He has two. He's going to hit you in fives. He gets one hit. He's going to wound you on a five. No wins. Okay, dokie. That is the way it's meant to be. Boss Zachstruck will charge into this baby knight. He needs a, like, two inch. So that is an eight. I will take that, and I'm just going to put him right over here. Or, uh, you know what? Let's just leave him right there. <laughs> I'm, I'm measuring three inches. I'm very ready to heroically intervene. Over I believe here. that. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to run these knobs into both units. Could you measure this for me real fast? Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. One guy's right here. One guy is right there. That would require a, I think it's a six inch. Six. All right, so let's roll a six. Uh, 12 <laughs> we'll do it so we're just gonna pop these bad boys right about here yeah, the orcs are in the orcs are in they're here to crumb thanks if you just help me out with that appreciate yeah, you making, making all right it's then we're gonna inches. then we're gonna run our beast mega boys into this thing right there they are gonna need uh looks like a five but maybe a six cool. uh, is a i think it's a six on a good cool. rain today so all the six Seven will do. Doesn't matter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move them right up here. And the pile-in will help me out. 
And then the battle wagon is going to roll a charge. That looks like a 9 or a 10. Oh, yeah. yeah. This one is actually important. Yep, well, and this does it. matter a lot. Yeah. Uh, it's not even a 9. It's a 7-inch. Oh, yes. right. Because of the way it's tilted. That's so exciting. Ooh. So let's give it a whirl. 7-inch. Here we go. That's a 6. Here we go, orcs. All right, so my rerolls have failed me this game so far. However, there is a lot more to do yeah. later you on want, you in the world. Oh, yeah, the commandos are 100% going in. Thanks, mate. Oh, yeah, yeah, you just shovel them in. They're in. Yeah, and they'll just do their piling to get over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah do whatever. Fine. Okay, cool. So that is everything. Um, so our very first activation is quite important. I do believe I'm going to start with the knobs. And the knobs will start directly into everything into this guy right here. That is fine. Would you like to use any shots? No, not on him. Not on him, really. So that's going to be uh, three times five, which is what, 15? Yep. So let's go over here to the rolling area. <laughs> that's the rolling area? Five, five, 15. I'm going to hit you on threes. Yeah. Drop this, drop these two, and then I have one six. So that'll be one explosion. And my strength right now is eight, so I'll be winning you on threes. Oh no. Terrible roll, terrible roll where dreams were to die. That was, oh my God, less than 50% roll. Those are AP1 damage too. AP1, someone force, mm -hmm. and then they have healer pains as well. Yeah, get out of here. So force, meaning they just so go away. Damage. Yeah, and then I've healer pain these on sixes. Oh, gross. I yield no six, one, six. but yeah. I got five normal trap attacks going in, one missed. These are gonna wound you on uh, just fives. That's gonna be one more AP1 damage one. Oh, I didn't save that one. Okay, are you gonna interrupt, sir? Yes, I am. Oh, he's so, gonna. Where are we going? You were attacking this one, right? Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, I'm yeah, just yeah. gonna do a little pile in right there. Yeah, and making sure we have the wind counter, sir. So this is very important for knights. <laughs> sure, sure. If you're a knight player and you have the blood shield, if your unit with blood shield dies, you wasted 30 points extra, and also the model. Go, so go. I'm, I'm going to interrupt. To I'm, gonna, I'm gonna pop his splash and shield of blood. The blood, blood shield. shield. So. The way I have it right now is I have six decks, six and decks. he has no interval saves. Dope. Which means that these go right on through, and killing a character, which is one of my secondaries. Yep, yep. Uh, this is very important for me to get. I have no more clan points, so he will have all the damage in the world against everything else. Mm -hmm. uh, but this is important for me to kill the character, and I'm, I'm not really afraid of these. So yep, I'm just yep. going to do everything into him. Seems reasonable. And also, I'm five obsec, so I'm going to keep the objective if he dies. So let's do that instead. That means I will yep. now hit him on threes. How many are you going into the special spot? Six. Uh oh, yeah. Fair. All of them. Fair enough. The damage is three plus D three each. Yeah, so, so you gotta get one through. Yeah. All right, getting on. Good. Three need everything in or two, it's carnivore, right? Uh he's a carnivore, yeah. Yep. All hit. All hit. Wounding on top of six. So. Uh he is strength. Twelve? Yeah, cool. D6. Just gonna double check that. It's very important. Double check. So you do <laughs> Just not... roll the dice. Roll the dice and see if it matters. <laughs> it doesn't matter. He's, uh, he's, he's dead. dead. Oh, he is very dead. <laughs> he's 100% dead. Yeah. Okay. So he's dead. I'm gonna activate and I'm gonna. Cool. Miss. And now I have killed another uh, wound, so I have another shield on my blood shield. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. So I'll just go ahead and carry on. So I'm gonna pile in with my boys right here. They'll all be like this, and then they are going to be hitting you on, um, sorry, I was pointing the way. So I got uh, one knob and then three guys, so that's nine plus four, so what is that, 13? This will be 13 saves. So we'll just roll the same dice, I'll take one of them out, this will be uh, two of them out, because it's 13, not 14. Hitting you on threes, no explosions, because these guys are not goth. Holy crap, oh, no. that was, um, people, the dice have spoken. <laughs> the orcs do not win this game, winning on fives. Take no wounds. If you're not trumping John the player, <laughs> you're not rolling hot. Okay, okay. And then we'll just do a continuous little piling thingy right here. Yeah. That was not great. All right, and we'll just move on over here. Our commandos are going to do their little piling. Sorry about that. Didn't mean to knock them. Sorry. Three inches, three inches, three inches. Boom, boom. Okay. So I'm going to have one commando knob. He's got a power claw. He's hitting on fours. He's might as well hit. Uh, missed with two of them, but one explosion. These will wound them on twos because I'm within terrain. That's going to be two saves at AP3 damage two. So sixes. Sixes. Ooh, all right. Damage. Takes four damage. He gets Fiona Pain. He'll know pain. He's a jerk. He's not a jerk. He's actually a really lovely guy. Boom. All right. So takes four. Yeah, down to ten. Down to ten. All right. Then one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And one, two, three. Then these are going to come on in. These are from the other commando boys. They are going to be strength at five right now because they're goths, but they're plus one to wound, so they're wounding on fours. Hitting on threes with their choppas, drop three of them, and Better. four go back in. 
That's way better. It is. Wounding you on fours because I'm plus one to wound at strength five. Oh no. There we go. Oh. Once again. No. Um, actually, that was fairly average. I mean, that's not the worst. I'm only like one under average. Just six, six saves. AP1, please. AP1. So that's Blaze on a four. Blaze on a four. Oh, well, now it's my turn. All the all right, all damage. Right, Damage one each. One each. Feel little pain, baby. Feel uh, yeah, still, still six. Still six. So you got two wounds left. I only have four. I am herpetrax. Extra wounds. Fair enough. Fair enough. All right, then we'll just go ahead and finish our pylons over here. Do 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 do. Okay. Oh, sorry. And then my beast snaggers are all gonna come on in. It's probably pretty, pretty dead back there. Yeah, I don't think he's got a chance. Could be though, with your rolling. Uh, well, you know, my rolling has not been the best, but that's okay, you know. I don't have to win every match, uh, especially when it's like bad matches, right? <laughs> so let's go with the knob. Although I think this might be my first loss to House Friedman, right? Yeah, probably, at this point. <laughs> Hitting on twos, uh, dropped one, winning on threes with the knob. Uh, it's gonna be two saves, AP two, damage two. Uh, so fives, fives. passing both. Uh, there you go, flying colors. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, and one, two, three, and then just three more of these. One, two, three, one, two, three. Because orcs be awesome, we've got all these dice coming in from the Beast Naga boys. You need me to yeah. load up that gauntlet? He's gonna, he's gonna load up for me. I'm gonna hit y'all twos. Oh no, those are a lot of sixes. How many sixes is that? I don't even know if I have the ability to do that math. Uh, that is seven, eight. That's gonna be, no, oh, that's nine. Nine. Ooh, no and one then there's another six here. Oh, no. That's no, ten. No one can count. Nope. Uh, so how about you roll those for me, buddy? <laughs> and then... <laughs> so these are the ten explosions. Oh, I'm rolling my own wounds? Oh, yeah, you're rolling your own oh, wounds. Oh, no. And I'm, I'm using Betrayer dice. Oh, okay. Pretty okay. good, pretty good. I don't think there's any way you survive, but you could. So these are all going to be AP1. These are all fours. Let's start there. No, he's gone. Uh, no, no, no. Feel the pains. Feel the pains. Feel the pains. Gotta believe. Uh, the dream is alive. This is true. Actually, that was a good save. Yeah. So, so now. Just gotta make four, four, five of these. No. Get two damage. Are they? No, he's on four. Oh, he's on four. He's on four. Oh, he's, oh, he's, he's gonna live. He's gonna live. It's her protract. Oh, two no. sixes, baby. Oh, no. Two. No, it's I need three sixes. So two to fifteen. It's all going wrong. <laughs> Oh, he's dead. Oh, it's on two! No! Yeah, he's dead. He's dead. Thank uh -huh. goodness. Does he blow up? Does he blow? Does he get revenge? Sweet, sweet revenge. Let's see it. No, he's not. No, no, sweet, sweet revenge. Okay, so something went wrong. <laughs> and we'll go ahead and pile in a little bit. I'm just going to push these guys forward, but I do keep the objective. Okie dokie, so that's going to be the end of the turn. I am going to score one, two... And that oh that's it. Um, I, I don't obsec. take I don't take anything here, so I'm all but you know you definitely have more than me. Oh, and boss Zach Stark. Sorry, let's do boss Zach Stark. Oh yeah, sure. Yeah. And he's gonna do his pylon. He gets yeah, to play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So he has six decks. Casual. He's gonna hit you on twos. He drops two of them, luckily, but one explosion, and then strength nine, so he'll win you on threes. Oh no. Oh no. Those are AP three damage two, my friend. Five of them. Five of them with sixes. All damage right. how much? Damage two. Damage two. Sixes. Right, and then Feel of Pains times two. No. Five so far. And he's gone, baby. Eight. Uh, he was on eight exactly. Wow. Okay, does he blow up though? He does not. Okay, well that's two nights. No, that's exciting. Okay. And so he will actually go ahead and pile and consolidate like that, just so he's not the closest model. And I believe that's going to be the end of my turn. Uh, I got to kill two baby nice. I definitely didn't do enough. This guy's probably dead for sure. Um, but we'll see how we do. I do actually score three points for behind me lines on turn one number one, which is very exciting. And I'll get one and two for the mission primary because my Gretchen did the mission objective. We'll be back after movement phase of round number two for the Chaos Knights. Woo! It's round two. Mr. Lassa here. He moved on up. So he got uh, eight points because he controlled three objectives, but so did I. Um, so he's moving up to obliterate my beast boss who failed his charge. I hate it when you do this. Those are six inch available, you suck. Anyway, um, now that that's done with, he is about to start some massive psychic powers and he's going to obliterate some knobs. Let's see what you got, baby. What are you so, doing? I have two things. I have one defensive, one offensive. Okay. I'm going to start with the offensive one just in of case that. Of course. Does something cool. Obviously. Uh, it's a chain smite. It's a bit harder to, to uh, pull off. I just need a six and then it will jump to the first unit. And from there, we'll jump to more on a two plus. We love that. Let's see it. So, on a six. 
Uh, that is a six. That's six. So D3 to these knobs. Cool. Or whatever they are. They take three anyways. Dope. So one and one dies. Yeah. You. Yep. And then on a two plus, he takes one, but on a four plus, he takes D3. Uh, that's an op. And so you're talking about Zach's Yeah, right the here. character. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, he looks more like You pointed character. at the wrong one, so you can't do it. They, <laughs> they're not painted. You have no say in this. They have purple skin, and they're clearly dry brushed white. Cool. He takes <laughs> wounds on a two plus. He takes these three mortal wounds. Let's see it. He takes one mortal wound. All right, give me that die, please. Whoop. I got to fight Phantom Pain. He, he takes, takes a win. All right, he's down to wound. five. He's down to five. And then the jumps the other way as well into whatever units are over the here. Distance? Hmm? What's the distance on it? Six. Oh, jeez. Six inches. And that's only six inch. That's only six war charge to six? Yeah. It's 12 inches and then jump six. Gross. Right. War charge to six, okay. Boom, two plus. Yep. Four plus, D3 mortals. Let's go, two mortal wounds. All right, two dead. <laughs> Got him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I have to contemplate about shooting, so we'll probably see you back in like 10 minutes, five minutes. I'll miss you. Yeah. In the shooting phase, we took a few pot shots right here. One boy died, Ooh. and then he's going to shoot into the storm boys. Yeah. He's got a little direct line with uh, this this jerk. Yeah, so what I, we got? I have two two weapons on him. I have um, like a small shot fire, it's not nothing. You just want someone died dead there, and then they'll fail the leadership and they run away like puny orcs they are. Oh, 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 oh. And, that's, that's uh, the smallest git I know. Well, <laughs> and from there you also have to melt the shots. Those are actually more important, so I'm gonna save them for last. So let's do the the big shots, the small shots first. Very important, small shots. Boom. And then wounding you on a four, which means you have no wounds. Nothing. This is why we did it on camera, very important. Obviously. Got let's it. see these melt us. And I put the die away. So, so he just has barely the edge to get my beast boss. It is awesome, very exciting. By yeah. the way, if you guys don't have a laser like this, it's really sick. Um, it's really useful for line of sight, get one. It's like the best eight bucks you can ever spend. Absolutely, 100%. All right, let's see you, baby. Yeah, so I have two shots, I'm, I have no re-rolls, I have one command point, that's all I have. Go, go. Let's do the rolls. All so right. hitting on threes. Scary. Boom. One hit. That's one. Just need the one. All right. Wounds uh, on a three. Wounding on a three. Strength nine. He wounds. You have an invul. Or sorry, yeah, you have an invul. You better believe I got an invul. Let's see it. He failed it. Roll your damage. To do this the hard way. Two damage. Two damage. Yep. That's fine. Five fill pains. Takes one wound. Yeah. Down to eight. Okay, cool. You also have minus one damage though, but Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Touche. Yeah. Well I took one wound. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> and this this boys and girls is why you have the it's called beer hammer for a reason, right? <laughs> yes. There's so many rules and everything's gonna change in like two months anyway, so all right yeah uh that was the easy ones though because that's you know i don't really have much more else here i want to do uh the battle line has too many wins for me to really carry i don't want to get it's very killing uh but i do have like this one over there which i can soften it up a little bit yep. if i wanted to and i think that is the way the to boy? go here so big boy is he wants some kills because he needs a six five plus steel location sure yep definitely the problem Makes is sense. this one has too many wounds left it's on uh, 14 wounds. Yep, if so I, you need two. If I do get two through, then of course, everything's gonna be, you know, sunshine and rainbows. So why don't you just shoot his stuff first? Yeah, but he can kill a lot of dudes. That's yeah, but he can kill in melee. You got like 18 attacks. No, but I can kill two units. I can greed, Jonathan. He can, can greed. greed. <laughs> so, All right, what we got? So I'm, I'm gonna do it. We're gonna risk it for the biscuits. Um, he is... He's minus one damage as well. Yep. He's uh, only on one wound down. Mm -hmm. And I have three shots. Yep. And I have a lot of firepower over Yeah, yeah. these guys should be more than enough, I would assume. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the three big guns. Boom. All right, go for it. There. Hit on four. And, um, and I have more stuff. Oh, yeah, has more shots too. Yeah, 24 inch. Oh, no, he lost his banner. I'll pot shots in here. Does he have, can you see it right there? He has a. Oh, yeah, he's easy. Absolutely. Easy, easy, easy. So let's do big shots. Now, big shots. Big shots first. Threes cool. and then twos. Hitting up fours, you're minus one. And you missed everything. This is why. This is. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Small shots uh, going in here. Uh, okay. Three hits. Small shots hit. Wounding on fours. That's two wounds. AP zero. AP zero onto the knobs, right? Onto these ones, yeah. Fours. All right. Oh, damage. There's damage one. All right. One guy dies. Woo. There's one on one, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, one on one. And yeah, yeah, it was. And then another guy takes one. So Yeah. We also put two guys back because the Coruscating Hate does not jump twice. Oh, yeah. The Psychic spell we did, it only jumps once. But it was a really cool spell. We still like it. Yeah. Um. Next thing. Bye. Yeah. See, they're painted. Look at that. He's got like purple skin and stuff. 
Next thing, important. Um, I'm gonna fire some shots down here. If they can move and do their stuff next turn, I'm screwed. So let's do 4d3 shots. 4d3 shots. Three, One, two. six, eight. Perfectly average. Love it. Hitting on threes, no rerolls. Shot three. And then winning you on fours, I believe, or threes? Yeah, yeah, so so threes. Three. Yeah. Not uh, so four shots, AP2. Six up in Vons. They're dead. Yeah. And you can just shut them inside. <laughs> Thank you. But they okay. got me behind me last turn for one turn. Yeah, and it, having them survive means that he's in trouble next turn, or he could charge, but let's yeah. be honest. Um, and then I have the important shot. The shot, shot. These two. These two. Uh, there we got a rinse and repeat. Small shots into probably the beast snaggers, because they're snaggers, okay. easier to just shift. Sure. Uh, so let's do that. Beast snaggers on fours. Beast snaggers. And then the other uh, shots only go into him. The big course. shots in him, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Beast snaggers. All right. Uh, I'm just gonna measure Please. measure my nine. He's within nine. Ugh. Chris. Got him. All right, all heading. Winning on fours. Winning on fours. One win. Yep. Give me that sweet, sweet six. Nope, one dies. And then amount of shots into your boss. Boom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so just dropping these three down. Hi, yeah. Hitting you on threes, re rolling ones. Uh, and I'm, I'm going to. You roll that one. Roll, you roll that one, yep. I'm going to drop that. That's fine. Because you have how many wounds left? Eight. Eight. And there are two damage each. Two damage each. Yeah. Against me, yeah. And then roll. I'm going to make this into a six. Oh my. Okay. That is five six. Fail all. Five. Save one. And then five. And save one, so he's dead. Save two. That's fine. So he's on. Oh, yeah, he's on one. Yeah, so he's on one of the left. Okay, cool. I thought he was dead. No, man, he's now dead. So a man basically. is allowed to dream, right? Man is allowed to dream for the next sh shooting activation. Yeah. Which I have is... more. <laughs> huh? Doing the same thing. With yeah, yeah. Four pot shots into here and yeah, yeah, the big shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's kill him first. That's the important part. Yep, yep, yep. Boom. One, one two, three, two, three, four, five, six, Woo. seven, eight, nine, ten. Saucy. This is a fun game, guys. We love Warhammer. <laughs> 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 no, this is actually very fun. But yeah. It's uh, that's a good guy. The big thing about Chaos Knights is that they're I have nine models, right? No, no, of course. He's of course. outnumbering me almost 10 to 1. No, the, 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 so the point is, is uh, so Lass is on our WTC team as well. So the whole point, really, for this game is he's. Yeah. He's within, isn't he? Yeah, he is. I hate you. Uh, so the whole point is, what we try to play is we try to play the bad matchups, and this is the worst matchup for orcs outside of space wolves. But no one's ever going to run space wolves because you can run iron hands. So it's okay if I lose this match. I don't really mind. I'm never going to play it in teams anyway. Wanna roll the for me there, Jonathan? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two, one, two. Okay. Oh, yeah, he does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get out of here! Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the easiest he's. I think he's ever died in a game ever. He failed. He failed his charge. So that's how it is. Uh, so rerollable six inch charge. Just what it, what it is. All right, game on, baby. Yeah, that's my charges. Uh, sorry, that's my shots. Charge. No, I actually, actually, actually. What do you got? Actually. What do you got? I have one more shot. Oh my. I have one more shot. So one more shot. we have a character over here. I'm probably just gonna try to solo kill him here. So and he has 12 attacks, damage two, sorry, damage three plus his tail. Which is all as well. Yep. So they're gonna probably clear out these knobs. Mm -hmm. so I'm gonna shoot my shots into this because trying to weaken this one is not worth it at this point. So I'm just gonna shoot my shots in here. Okay. They're gonna be over killing them like crazy. Sure, but sure. If I get those sweet, sweet sixes, those are model wins. Roll the dice! We love Oh, Mortal Wounds, hitting on threes. Yep. Well, that's one. And then winning you on twos. Yeah. Six, ten. Yep, yep, yep. But I'm fishing for sixes, got nothing. But five, uh, sorry, four saves. Four saves, AP one. AP, so sixes. All right, kill four. And uh, he's still on his maximum, so. Mm -hmm. It is what it is. And so, guys, the reason why he was able to shoot my beast boss is, if you remember, if you scroll back just a little bit, when I did my consolidation, I tried to get these guys within to give them a lookout, sir, which would have meant that he could not have died. But, unfortunately, I had charged them a little out of the way because I was planning on charging the beast boss in. And since I failed that charge, I, there's no way I could get them consolidated while also moving closer to the target. So, that's, so, that's what happened there. The, the, the problem here is that he, when he made the charge, he made sure that he had a room for his beast boss. Yep. Right? So, by moving them up for the beast boss to make an easy six-inch charge, 
Rerollable. It's, yeah, re <laughs> it's also a dice game. It happens. So it's like, a, I don't know, 20% chance of it not happening. But so we went from there and yeah, it was, it was not really possible. That's the only way I could kill him. So I went for it. Works well. Uh, doing some easy charges here. Charge one. I'm going to charge both units because I need some space here. Sure. Uh, I'm just going to roll the... I'm gonna roll two dice. I'm not going to say what I need. You made a... It's very, very... Does an 11 make that... Pull out the ruler. Pull out the ruler. <laughs> and then he's just going to stomp on over here. Stomping. Stomping. Uh, he's going to move in an awesome 11 inches. And I want... I, I don't really care much about my backfield if he wants Why would you? to. Yeah, you don't care. He can just jump in there. But what I can do is these models are huge. I just do like this. Not on his model, of course, but like this. Oh, that's all you can take, eh? That's yeah. what's happening. Uh, I, so, I, so I Lassa, can, 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 can he actually charge over me since you're Titanic and you want no. 11? Uh, so the rule for it, they're not Titanic per se. They're just very, very huge. So they have a special rule. I don't remember the name of it, mm -hmm. but they can make them move, advance, fullbacks over enemy models, but not the charge boost. Uh, okay. All and right. it's just like fly, except for fly can move over models, but not terrain. Uh, these ones have the same ish. So I cannot charge over over his models to reach something behind. Marvelous. Unfortunately. He's a big dude. He wants to just kill the closest thing, right? He's a big boy. So... What's he, first? So he has two command oh, points. Oh, I'm sorry. You have other things. I, I, was, I was rushing things. My bad. Yeah, no, no. So you have, he has two command points. So I need to be aware of his inter interrupts. Uh, so his boss here got six attacks, but the knobs have way, way more. And I failed my uh, fimble pain. So I need to eradicate them the way I can do this. Eradication. So I have 12 attacks. Because AS, um, he's on four attacks normally, but the, uh, the tentacles, arms. I'll just turn that for you. <laughs> so the tentacles are coming. Uh, they have three. Tentacles are coming. Tentacles are coming. <laughs> so, that's, a, that's an anime, okay. <laughs> that's an anime joke, not intended though. Um, but they triple his attacks. So they're only, only strength eight, unfortunately. Oh. When, uh, but they're still gonna kill everything you that say works. that roll the dice you say that three uh -huh. shot three yeah so nine go through winning nine. on threes nine go through winning on threes Shit should make it oh One, a little two, under three, average four. so five make it what's five the AP on these uh they're ap i do believe they're ap2 but because serpentrix gets another ap so six so three so that goes through how much damage uh damage is it's either two or three, but he's dead. They're okay. dead anyways. So you killed six, killed and five. all the all the knobs are dead. Well, five, yeah, you're right, but they're dead. Because there were only five to begin with. Okay, sweet. That was the important thing, right? I yes, knew sir. that was dead. So I also had D3 attacks, so you're gonna use, uh, I didn't say, so they're going to go going into the knobs as well. That's on me. Um, now you can interrupt, sir. Do you I'm not going to. Interrupt? Please continue <laughs> yeah. on. All right, I have another unit right here. He has built in four attacks, get plus one for charging. Because cool. I am uh, not a demonic household. Okay. But remember, the infernal, I think, not that. It's the other one. I have five attacks here. I have a claw, which is the claw. strength a lot and damage the a lot. Claw. So hitting on threes, because he's not a carnivore. So drop two. Yeah. Then Winning toughness is six here. Winning on twos, baby. It's twelve. It's, oh, it's not trained for ten. It's uh, six times two. Oh, okay. Six times two. Yeah. Oh, flying call. Doesn't One goes matter. Two. Missed. Drop two. So damage. Uh, damage is D three plus three. Or your damage. Uh, he's on five. Yep. Minus one damage. Five feel of pain. Five of feel of pain. Woo! He is on six damage. I hate this. All right, I get six dice. Would you mind handing me four more dice, please, sir? Oh, your filthy chaos dice. He's alive. Yeah, but is what it is. No, I think you made the correct decision. Um, so he takes three, and he is down to two. He's down to five right now. Yep. All right. I'll do that, and uh, you can now do your next stuff, my sir. Good sir. All right, cool. So we'll just have both that stuck, smack back. And um, the opponent is now is, is definitely favored, right? Because he. Oh know. yeah, he was favored already. So now he's trying to hit man and all that nonsense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can re-roll, and you cannot hit him on four. Or sorry, three and, and down. Disgusting. So all right, so we'll just have some Zach. He's gonna completely <laughs> smack my uh, whatever this guy is. That's a stalker. There you go, twos. Drop one, but one explosion. And I'm gonna win you on threes, cause strength eight. Right, that's gonna be five saves at AP three damage to you. Spooky! Zach is a jerk. 
Yeah. So five on AP AP three. So yeah, six. I'm shrinking one, taking eight, eight damage. Is. I'm down to six. And then he's got a single chop attack. Then to come in. That's a hit, and it's going to win you on a uh, not, not that. that. <laughs> not that. All right, cool. So then what I'll do no. is oh, oh right, right, right here. I'm sorry. No, no. Yep, you're right. Yes, you're right. Because I was charged. I'm yeah. sorry. Do you want to remove the models from twelve? Yeah, packs? I'm just going to pick them up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that was fun for you. I hope you enjoyed it. Jump up there. Yep, yep, yep. There you go. Yeah, that's, that was twelve attacks. Uh, hitting on twos, winning on uh, twos. So threes. So. So my commandos are just going to kind of do a little oh, no. nonsensical pile on. Oh here. no, those are scary. No, actually, no, I don't want to pile on that way because I want to leave room for my dudes. All right. Do do do. Good. And that's going to be the knob. Is going to hit him on fours. Yep. Two hits. Yep. He's going to be with you on two. Yeah. Two saves, AP3, two damage. Uh, sixes. Uh, and Four wins. Yeah. So he takes a lot of damage. Four damage. He is down to... Uh, yeah. He's on 24 then. <laughs> All right, so then the other knobs are gonna hit him as well. They're gonna hit him on fours because that's the way it works. Um, a lot of misses. What knobs? Oh, not knobs, sorry. The other commanders in the squad. Oh, yeah. The other commanders. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You got more dudes, yeah. So I got two sixes, which means two explosions, and oh. these are gonna be strength five, but they will be, or strength four, actually. Mm. So now when you got five, so I'm plus one to win. Yeah. Yeah. Three, right? on if it's strength four? Yeah, but I'm plus one to win because I'm in terrain. Yeah, so six and five. Yeah, so five. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was really good. So that's okay. going to give me um, five saves, if you want. Five saves and fours, okay. Uh, and I shrug two, taking three more damage. Nope. I have no feeble pants because I failed to save. Fail that. your darn psychic spells, you abomination. See what yeah. I did there? Ha ha. He's down to 21, though. Cool. So at the end of the turn, um, I believe I'm going to owe you a little morale. Uh, we're not even there yet. Oh, are we not? Or is, is no, there more to do? we're not there yet. What else is there to do? So... At the end of my charge phase, because I am, it's not a charge, but fight at the end phase. of the fight phase, I am Herpetrex, huh? so I can dish out some mortal wounds. Let's see it. I am not sure what the range is. I think it's six inches. Twelve. No. It's twelve. It's but I just played it with, with Sandra for the okay. one. Yeah, it's twelve. <laughs> yeah, then, I'm going to spend this thing and I'm going to kill basically everything here. Yeah, yeah. Well, you have to choose one unit. No, it's everything. And then we should look it up. So yeah. we're going to look this one up. We'll be right back. Okay, so we looked it up. I was a silly bear, and Lassa is 100% correct. You are the best. We you, love you. You're amazing. Yeah, you were not a silly bear. You just did not know the name of the stratagem. That's that true. I'm an ignorant bear. Forgive me. That is true. <laughs> so, so he's casting. He's going to explain what you're doing, my man. Yeah, so her, uh, House Herbert Tracks has uh, a stratagem specific to them, which allows me to select one of my models. That model can then shriek out, in, not in terror, but make the opponents think that it is, they're gonna be you know, crazy for this. And I'm gonna measure six inches from one of my models, and every unit inside of those six inches, opponents, of course, um, are gonna have to take some damage. So this one is clearly within six, and then everything's within six. Yeah, everything's so within six. On a two plus, they take one more win, but on the six, they take B3. Scary. So I have the chance to kill both of these units, and that's one command point, three more wounds, normally worth it, so let's go with it. Uh, let's do the commandos first. Commandos! Let's do the cure. So that's a two, they take one more wound. Alright, so I'll put it on the knob, not takes more wounds. Yeah. And then I'm gonna do it on these two. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, that's a five, so take one off of these, probably right, the Put it on the knob. knob. Oh, the knob, yep. Yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. Uh, and then here, he has two wounds left. Yep. On a six, takes D3. Fair enough. And oh, it takes one. Takes one. He's got a five gun up and he takes it. So he's down to one left. He's down to one left. All right. And that is where we are going to leave this. Uh, so I'm just going to roll my morale real fast yeah, for, my, um, yeah, for my beast. I guess they are going to need a one. Uh, one runs. I'll just take that knob because he needs to. And then ones, twos, and threes, if I'm not mistaken, because I'm under half strength yep. and I'm within range. So they're both done. Yep. All right, luckily I still own it with my battle wagon, but that is annoying. Um, you didn't kill anything over here. No, I did not. I you didn't kill my, anything over here. Missed my shot. And you didn't kill anything over So that's all the morale I owe you. Yep. So I am scoring, so I'm, at the end of the turn, I'm going to score some points on Storm. Some? No, not some. I'm going to start with my Storm. <laughs> uh, I'm going to start my Storm over here. Uh, okay. so he's, this guy cannot move anymore. Yep. But, uh, not anymore, but until next turn. Sure. But he's going to be scoring me four additional points, which is very important. I also 
hold one, two, three, uh, which means I hold more than half, giving me three points on um, the tyrannical whatever. Uh, ruthless tyranny. Ruthless tyranny, thank you. I'm the one playing Chaos Knights here, my good sir. I don't know the names. Forgive me. Of course I do. Uh, and, yeah, that's it. Uh, I killed more characters than I thought I would. I didn't kill him though. Sad. But it is what it is. Uh, and that leaves my turn wide on open. Dope. Let's do it. All right. Whoa! Yep, there it is. All right. So we're going to salvage this game today. What I've done is I've moved the battle wagon on up. He's going to try to charge this jerk with the big guns who killed my freaking beast boss. I hate you. And then Don't we're going to... Right? Don't do it. Oh, we're going to do it. We're going to do it, baby. The turn two, guys, our um, killer counts come on. I'm going to Raymond speed them into this uh, this uh, knight to take him off of this objective. So he only scores four points for his primary next turn. I repeat, don't do it. Okay, once again. <laughs> uh, my knobs came out of the battle wagon. It's going to be kind of hard to see because of the terrain. So, but they ran up. And they're going to eat a baby knight. My war boss with Brutal But Cunning is going to eat the big knight. And he's going to have help from all the storm boys. These Gretchen over here are getting me some good bits. Um, and then these Gretchen over here came in, so they'll give me good bits next time. Um, and that is basically everything I'm doing. I'm not bringing the Storm Boys in, the, the 5 band Storm Boys this turn. Um, but we will play Warhammer, and we will prevail! All right, um, so let's just go ahead and do a little quick shooting. I already know what I'm doing, so it's totally fine. I'm going to shoot all the rocket launches, or I'm going to shoot two rocket launches at this guy, and I'm going to shoot two rocket launches at this guy. Okay, well, is there any AP to this? AP2. AP2. Damage 3. Uh, damage three each. Ew, big yep. yikes. So, I might want to spend a command point here, but it's it's not worth it for me, I think. I think I need to save it for something better. Okay. So, go ahead. All right, so 2d3 shots into the first guy. It's going to be, oh, six shots. That's nice. Woo. I will hit him on fours because they're Gretchen. That's going to give me four hits. Strength eight, so I'm going to move on threes. Two wounds, AP two. So that leaves me on fives. And he spikes it. <laughs> Classic. All right, and then on into the guy behind him, the executioner. Let's roll those. That's going to be three shots. Hitting you on four, actually five, because you're touching the dents. Ha-ha. No hits. Perfect. Cool. Um, that is the shooting. Um, that's literally the only shooting I have. So let's go into the chore phase. Did we forget something? Don't you have a psychic face? Yeah, but I'm not going to. I guess, yeah, you're right. I do have a psychic face. Thank you. So I'm going to cast the jump. <laughs> <laughs> I need a seven for this. I regret this already. Uh, that's his perils. I'll take the wounds. I don't care. All right, I take two wounds. So now my weird boy is left on uh, three wounds. And thank you for reminding me, Elasti, because now I'll score behind me lines and get a free CP. Uh, I regret this already. You do. Somewhat. No, it's fine. It's fine. Like also, it. also. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the reminder. Um, all right. So then we're now we're in the charge phase. All right. Um, first off, we will go ahead and charge our battle wagon into this guy. Um, oh, don't do it. Stop. Throw a little measure. I think it's a seven. Um, yeah, that's a seven rerollable right there. Yep. Right. So, here we go. I'm going to use the green dice because orcs be a green, baby. You're on the log, so that's okay. re-roll those. He'll try. Uh, you always actually re-roll for orcs. Not, and you that's do. a fail. My charges are not good at this game. I didn't zoom in, but unfortunately, yeah. yeah it was a five. five. It's okay. All right, so I'm going to spend two CP now. Whoop. I'm going to... No, no. Before oh. that, I'm going to farm them on fives. Uh, nope. Oh. Ike dog. Okay. okay. So this is Raymond Speed. Raymond Speed is going to let me charge on 3d6. It's not drop the lowest, people. So I'm going to charge my uh, Killer Cons, who need a 9-inch charge, but it's going to be on 3d6. Oh, no. Womp womp. That is a 9. <laughs> so they succeed. That's barely, though. Oh, yeah. That was, that was not good, but that was actually a little bit below average, but that's okay. I will take it. And I'm not actually going to touch this thing. We'll just leave them just like this. Yeah. If you would have touched it minus 2 movement, then that's not That would be movement. stupid. <laughs> Um, next, I'm going to go ahead and charge all the Storm Boys into the Night Abominant. Mm, that seems like a 10-inch. <laughs> yeah, sure, I'm sure. Uh, so that's a 2. I'm going to reroll that. <laughs> and we'll take the 7. 7, yep. Yeah. So we'll just pop these boys right about here. So. Yeah. Uh, Sorry about pushing your dude. No, that's fine. You also subtract 2 from this one, right? No, they're flyers. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sure. Storm Boys fly. Uh, yeah, but that doesn't matter in the movement phase. No, so yes, it phase. does, because Arch Bowman changed it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh no. Arx of Omen changed it. Ooh, I also didn't know. You didn't know. You didn't know. 
I'm being harassed by another Lhasa. It's it's unfortunate. So when he says Lhasa didn't know, then Lhasa didn't know. He goes back. He didn't specify which Lhasa. Now you remind me of Eurotrip. Oh my god. Uh, all right, it's Lhasa didn't know. Not yeah, yeah, yeah. But not nearly as bad. Check. Go ahead. War boss going into your bonnet. Yeah. We have some room right there. So. Beep, beep. Um, you know, actually, I'm gonna take it further because he rolled 11. Yeah, I mean, I'd like to get in your deployment zone. Oh, my deployment zone, eh? Yep. Yep. And then I'm gonna go ahead and roll the knobs, and they're gonna has go he, into both. Have you damaged the guy in the back? Yeah, I've dealt. Yeah, I damaged. I dealt one wound, no, baby. Son of a bitch. Oh, uh, that's a 12 for those knobs. Yeah. So these boys are gonna zoom, zoom, zoom riot. And they're going into both units. So. I'm just gonna move this uh, this little thing over here. Fair enough. Fair enough. So you have room for all your boys. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Is Thank you, sir. May I have another? Uh, is that your like your uh, ghetto cards? More or less, right? Uh, more or less. <laughs> I have the cards, but these are like the special abilities. So I'm actually gonna leave one of these knobs behind, so I'm holding this objective. Yeah, just remember, is the unit more than, uh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, it is. So what he's, what he was asking me, people, was about cons um, keeping myself in coherence. So I have this one guy right here. He has to be within two inches of two models, which is why I have this little triangle formation right here. And then this guy's within two inches of two models, so they keep coherency. Yeah. And he doesn't have CP to interrupt, so I'm kind of in a decent place. Until you spend command points to attack me. Which I won't. <laughs> <laughs> so first activation I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start with the Kilicons here. Yeah. So my Kilicons are just gonna pile in three inches like this. Then I'm gonna go three inches right here. You ignore difficult terrain on consolidation move or pylon moves, that so I'm moving my three inches right there, and then this guy's gonna move his three inches, and they're all gonna get to attack. Yeah. Now, Kilicons have three attacks each, but when they have three models or more in the unit, they get four attacks, and then for the Wah, they get five attacks. So What's their damage? AP three, damage three, strength nine. Ooh, Hitting so force. what I'm gonna do though, I'm gonna activate his blood shield for the second time, because he's gonna die anyways. So if he survives, you have no invul sets to uh, defend with you, yourself with. That makes sense to me. Not that you had in more saves, but... <laughs> oh, I do. I do. Five of them That's oh, yeah. the wall, baby. Everyone's got a five of them How many attacks is that in total? It's, 20. Uh, 20 so I should hit with 10. I should wound with 7. They're all 8 to 3 damage weight. Yeah, and so he's setting on 6s. Uh, I'm actually gonna hedge something here. I'm gonna do minus 1 damage. Oh my, okay, okay, okay. Okay, minus 1 damage. Damage 2, so let's go. They're not goths, so they don't explode on 6s. But it was actually a, quite a good hit roll. Um, yeah, I got one more than I needed, than I should have. So that's a, uh, I think I rolled one too few dice, because this is five. Yeah, I rolled a few too few dice, because it should be 20. Yeah. Um, so roll I owe you two more dice. Yeah, go ahead. Sorry about that. And one hit, one miss. So actually perfect. All right, so I'm going to wound you on threes. Oh, no. Great. Oh no! That was exactly what should have happened. Yeah. Math is perfect, beautiful. Cool. Seven saves, AP three, damage two now instead of damage three. Yeah. And I'm dropping I'll, dice I'll like crazy. I'll, I'll grab those for you. Ah, it's fine. It's fine. I'm dropping dice like crazy. Everyone likes dropping dice. Yeah. So seven saves on sixes, no feel, no pain, damage to each. I need to save two of them. No, thank you. I need to save two of these. So two of these needs to be sixes for me to be able to survive this and strike back with whatever I have left. Oh. One you six. You definitely saved two. And two. You saved three. Woo. So you only took eight damage. I only took eight damage. I'm still down on three. So that will leave me bracketed, but he's not dead. That was a CP well spent. Yeah. So if I wouldn't have it, those three, he would have been the exact obliterated. Yep. Yeah. All right. And then we'll just do a little consolidation move. Beep, 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 and beep, beep, beep. And sure. that is the consolidation. So now we are going to move on into the war boss. So he's going to have two attack squakes. And this is brutal but cunning. So brutal but cunning is going to be a crazy little activation. So just bear with me for it. Brutal but cunning, the two attack squigs will hit him on uh, force because he's trans hitman. That's going to be one hit and an explosion. And this missed. So it goes back in the pile to get attacked again. Mm -hmm. So now these will be winning you on sixes because it's strength four. Yeah. No yeah. hits, so these go back in the pile to be hit again. Yeah. Then I'm gonna have six attacks with his kill claw. He's hit you on four because so you're trans him. All right, so I missed two. These go back in the pile to be attacked again. Now my strength right currently is gonna be 12, and it's gonna be 84 damage three. Toughness 10, sorry, toughness eight. So yeah, you're on threes. 
one miss, failed, so it goes back to the pile. You have three saves, AP four, damage three. Yeah, and knights don't have any more saves in close combat, so, so it goes right through. Nine damage. I'll just move this and move this. 12 wounds left. 12 moves left. Um, I have big fingers. So I get six bonus attacks with the Killer Claw because he can never make extra attacks with the Squig, which was a little tricky sneak to, sneak attack to give him that attack Squig. So we'll hit him on fours again. Only one hit this time. Um, sucks. And no win. All right, well, he don't night damage. He survived! For now. Uh, can you explode him on purpose? No command points. He's out. Rip. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pile in my Storm Boys because I, I, I want to put my knobs into the other guy because I want to make sure I can't kill his axe truck this turn. So I want to see how many wounds I can get out. All right. So I'm going to do the knob first. He is going to be hitting... Oh, and you're going to take D3 mortar wounds on him for the random speech. Sorry. I forgot about that. But we'll get that, that later. Yeah, sure. Right, so the um, power flaw. Yeah. Two hits, one explosion. Yep. Gonna wound you on threes. Yep. Uh, two saves, it's gonna be AP three damage two. I have a chance. He has a chance. I have a chance, folks. Two saves on sixes. Shrug known. Four damage. He's down to eight. Then we're gonna have one, two, three, four, five. I'm pretty sure he just pulls these ones out of his pocket Six. at this point. Seven and eight. Because orcs like dice, baby. These are the other guys. They're all hitting on fours because of transitment. Ah! Hitting on fours. Okay. Let's take some of these misses out. So the way around transitment is having explosions, which luckily goths have. One, two, three, four, five, and six, and seven explosions. So we'll just add those back in. Three, four, and five, six, and seven. So now my strength right now is six on all these guys, so they'll be winning one fives. Ah, drop dice don't count. That was not the best, but we'll take what we can get, right? If you say so. I think I hit that one, so I'll take that one out. So you have six saves, 81, sir. Six saves. Move the camera so I can actually have six dice in my hand. Yep, uh, yep. AP one. AP one. AP one. So that leaves on force. And oh no. Take four more wounds. Take four more wounds. Two here. And two more here. So me being um, in house of tracks means that I still have. These are the extra wounds at this point. He's just by army choice still alive. So now. I have to make sure all of this dies because I have no chance at all. Um, at, but before I move on, I did forget to give the D3 mortal wounds for the ram and speed into the vehicle. So I'm going to roll on a two up. He takes D3 mortal wounds. That's in charge phase, right? That is in charge phase. That's in charge phase. That is a charge phase. If he does three mortal wounds. On a two up. So if I roll one, no mortal wounds. Yeah. All right. So D3 mortal wounds, sir? Yeah. You take one. All right. Take he's still one. alive. He's yeah. down to two. Yeah. 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 If he right. would have taken three, then there would be no point in having minus one damage. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we would have given a CP back. Yeah. 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 Um, that was because I was sucked. Yeah, I just forgot. Sorry. <laughs> We're only playing for fun at any anyway. So. We're practicing for tournaments. We're big tournament players. Says the guy not playing in the tournament. <laughs> Listen, bro. Okay. Anyway. Anyway. All right. So I'm gonna spend my last two CP here. And I'm gonna explode my knobs on fives. Good. Um, so the way I'm gonna split this. Oh, sorry. On a five plus, I get it back. Yep. Hey, what do you look at that? that. So, now, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to hit. Now you can explode, right? Yeah, right. Now I can explode. That is correct. I have the oh, command point. Oh crap! Oh well, <laughs> I fell into the trick. That's you my gave fault. me the command point. I did. It was it was really dumb, but you know what? It is what it is. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and put one, two, three and four into this knight. Yep. And then I'm gonna put the other nine into this guy. Ooh. Um, so we'll have some tricky little pile and consolidation thing tricks here. So we're gonna have one claw, two claw, three claw, four claws into the vomit and one big chopper. Go ahead. So just for chats uh, or for the comments, I can't explode this one because it's two command points, but... So, these are the four claws in the night. Abominant, hitting on fours, exploding on fives. Yep. That was terrible. 
Luckily, I'm exploding on fives, because that was not good. All right, winning on threes. Uh, well, that well, that made up for it, though. Okay, so then we're going to have eight saves, 83 damage, too. 83 on eight saves, wow. Roll the orc on, dice, come no, on. Roll the orc I dice. I don't want to. Roll them. You know you love you, the wah. They're green. You love the wah. Uh, so, AP3 means with sixes? Yes, and it's damage what? Damage two. Yeah, so. He gone. Ooh, he's very dead. Ooh, no. Does she blow? Does he blow? Did you just assume his gender? <laughs> uh, we're gonna roll. It's uh, it's on a six. I'm actually not Speaking sure. Liberal. Yeah, so I'm, roll, I'm gonna roll a six and then everything's gonna just gonna die at this point. No, so close. Dad. All right. Did you know it's then I'm going to have plus two. one big oh, chopper. Uh, one, two, three claws. So then three claws into the other unit. We'll roll the claws first. And these are hitting on threes because he's not transhuman. Two explosions. Uh, they're hitting on threes because the war boss is giving them plus one to hit. Yep. And then when you on threes. That's gonna be seven days, please. Eighty three damage too. Why would I use those dice when they just betrayed me? Uh, well, yeah, that's true. Seven saves, AP. AP three damage too. He's dead. He's dead, folks. He's dead. Yeah. Uh, he's very dead. Uh, but as someone has been saying, telling me, I know. this guy, I have the ability to explode. So he's already dead. So I'm just gonna. He died. So he's just gone. Yep. Yep. But. I can still explode this one. And the thing is, explosions is three inches, right? And it's one clam point to just auto explode one of these big guys. I could have resurrected then him, but I think it's better to just For one CD? Yeah. Wow. To just kill him. Um so three and six inches, sorry. Is yeah, it's gonna hit everything except for the storm boys down here. Uh I think it's worth it. Just yeah, roll some dice. While you do this. Thank you. So we're just switching the cameras real quick. Yeah. Also, what do we got? What do we got? Ooh, so we got a lot of dice. I'm just kidding, we, we don't. Um I'm gonna spend the one clam point or to kill him. The yep. reason why is because there's a character in there with one wound. So, watch me watch the his five film fan. The three mortal wounds um. on every unit. So we have a unit of uh, drop down die. A uh, unit of um, nuts. Yep. Let's do some damage. Boom. Three. three. So you're gonna kill one. Yeah. And one's gonna take a wound. Yep. That's the fresh ones, right? Yep. They're fresh. Yeah. And then we have a unit of commandos. Mm -hmm. Take three. Okay. So we'll just kill the knob because he was on one wound already. Yep. Uh, one. Where was he? Yeah, this guy, and then this guy's dead. Two, yeah, and then and this guy's dead. Three, thank you. And then we have your weagle. That way. Save, saving the best for last. Taking another three. Dude, wow. stop. I'm rolling high. And now I'm going to roll a one, right? And you're going to pass your feel of pain. Basically. Yeah. Yeah. Basically. Yeah, and then there's a character in there. There's also a war boss, war boss in there. Yeah. So the bigger your, boy. Your character in here, the important one. Boss Zach Duck. Thanks to you. Okay, show me those sweet, sweet fives. No, he dies. No, he's very dead. And then it's uh, him on a, another one. Yeah, so he'll, he'll go down to five. Yeah. <laughs> well, and then the nut goes. All right, so then I'm going to hand the camera back to Lassa, and I'm just going to do my little pile in with my uh, knobs here. Yeah. Thank you very much. So. Um, I'm not going to pile in very much. I'm just going to make sure my war boss is lookout served because I want to make sure that I keep my um, objective right here. Uh, that's going to be that. Um, and now all Lass is going to do is he's going to strike back with his um, dude who's heavily bracketed. Yeah, he is very, very bracketed. That is true, but he's not so bracketed that he can't do anything. So... Uh, him, he still has all his attacks, which does not uh, bracket. So he has still has six attacks. It's uh, five plus one for the charge. And I don't have any command points, but I'm still hitting on fours. Oh, well, that's better. That's yeah. better. So two goes to three, goes to fours when he's lowest bracket. But what's good bracket, but he doesn't lose attacks. No, okay. that's true. Uh, so I'm still going to hit you on fours, uh, mm -hmm. and then probably wounding you on threes, I guess. Check five. Top five oh, yeah, then it's twos. Let's do it. So four oh, first. Geez. All right. And then on mighty twos. Take yep. three. Roll your damage, sir. Because I don't. Uh, my armor saves three up. So. Yep. And there are three. And you ignore involves because you did yeah. the thing. Three plus D three each. Yep. So first one. One does. Does he blow up? He does. Oh, so no. you take a mortal wound. And, and I take a mortal wound. So that so, means my next guy automatically dies. Yeah. The next robot. Does he blow up? He does not. All right. 
So that is two dead, mm -hmm. and I still have two more saves to roll, which is pretty good. Is that yeah. one? Fourth room? Kill one. And then the next one, yeah. Oh, yeah, I kill. Yeah. Yep, so yep, 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 yep. Last one. Yep. Let's go. That's another three, baby. Do I block? Nah, crud. I was really hoping to. All right. So he's still alive. Yeah, he'll run. And then you have, oh no, you have him around. Yeah, minus four, there's a six. I needed to. He's gone. And that is kill cons, people. They're beautiful, but that happens. You also have some morale oh, over shit. here as well, which is a uh, No, they only lost one, so they don't need to owe you. I do owe you right here. So they're minus three. So you are within six. my 15s, good sir. You're minus, for them? no, for them. Oh, for them? Okay, so, so they can fail on six. They're fine. Okay. And then the commandos need a uh, Bell Suite no. on runs. And then the other one is gone too. So they're out. Yeah, lots of took care of them. All right, so at the end of my turn here, I'm going to score four points on behind me lines. And I'm going to get a bonus CP because I do have troops in your deployment zone, which is very exciting with my Gretchen there. Um, I do score another four points with my Get the Glovitz, so I am at a eight for that right now. And. I don't know, man. We'll see. I really would have felt a lot better had I gotten this battle wagon into this charge. Um, but we'll see how we can do. It's actually better looking than what I originally expected. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to win, but we're going to try. So we'll be back at the end of the movement phase for Lhasa's next um, Chaos Night shenanigans. See you guys. Okay, so we're up at the end of turn three. So Lhasa scored another eight on primary because we are contesting primary for each other. Um, he moved up with his abominate or his despoiler to come yep. on up. He's yep. got a nine inch charge into the knobs over here. He fell back, well, didn't fall back, but he moved back with a stalker <laughs> over here or executioner to yep. take his home field objective. And the other executioner came up to take this objective. Well, he's just going to go sacrifice his now depleted blood shield um, carnivore to the great gods of the Defrola battle wagon. Yeah. Um, right now, we're going to see how it goes. It's actually very close. It is currently 40, what, 43 to me? To 40 to you? It was 43 to 40 before the start of the round, and then they got eight, and my storm is almost done. Oh, right, 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 right. So I'm going to gain the additional 12. So it's a very close match is the whole point. It's actually yeah. closer than either one of us expected after that first turn. The good, so the, the good bits are doing the good bits. Good bits are, it's a good, it's a good one. Jumping in behind me here, giving him the, the jump. That one turn? Yeah, he was a nice fellow and reminded me about my psychic face. He should have been a jerk. No, nah, you should always be nice to your opponents, people. Like, that's, that's you should always be nice to your opponents. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so, yeah, so we're going to go right into the shooting phase right now. So what do yeah. we got? Uh, I was about to say psychic, but I have a lot more psychic. Oh, no, get rid of your psychics. Um, so I want to do, <laughs> Nerd. I have some pot shots I can do. Uh, Storm Guard is, is completed for four additional points, but he cannot move anymore. Yep. Uh, which means that he only has one target, which is setting down there. Or he um, yeah, he can shoot here, well. for sure. He's just be minus one. Yeah. Uh, and I think that's worth it for the knobs because yep. your damage three goes to damage two. Of course, you're gonna make your charge almost impossible. I'm not gonna charge the knob. I'm gonna charge him. Oh, that's a ten inch charge then. No, that was a nine inch. Oh, was that, that a nine? That was the entire point. Oh, I thought the nine inch was to the knob. No, no, okay. no, 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 to him. Forgive me. Because I need to reach him. Got it. Set, set two different units. Yeah, it is. This, that's the beast boss, and that's. Oh. Uh, no. He's not a beast boss. He's a normal war boss with attack squig. Okay. Change the list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Anyways. I'm gonna get a different, so, different list today. No uh, gas in this one. Trixie. These are obviously outside of just normal fire range, and I have 24 here, which is also outside of anything. Yep. Gonna bother. D4 shots into the knobs. All right, let's see it. Let's kill some knobs. Three. Three, three, six, two, two. Ten. Ten. Big ten. Big ten. I'm just gonna move these over here because. Yeah, do it. Do it. I'm gonna um, remove his wounds anyways. So ten dice, just making sure I have ten. Always, ca always count your dice, very important. Uh, I'm, hit I'm hitting on fours now. Boom. Terrible. Absolutely not good. Dog. Garbage. Crap. It is a dice game. I rolled hot so far, and now I'm, it comes back to me. Um, I'm winning on one. AP two, damage three. Five of bed bone. One dice. One dice. Who do you choose? Oh, I choose he, you. He killed two, boys. He killed two. Oh, I was kidding. Bye. Um, and then from there, I have some plot shots I need to do. I need to do this into here. Yep. Uh, I have no chance of any line of sight plot shots, and I might be outside of 24. I am. Um, so there's only the D4 shots into, or four D3 shots into it. I mean, I assume you're going to shoot the suburbs also. Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. Yeah. Sure. Come I'll, on. You still, I'll, you still shoot. I'll do the suburbs. Oh, my. Threes. Do it. Five. Five. One. One. Wound. Three up. Saved it. Okay. Now that we have the very, very useful shots out of the way. You feel better, don't you? Yeah. Well, One. somewhat. Uh, six. Boom. Seven, eight. 
Nine to boom, boom. boom. One less than last time. Right. Uh, let's do it on threes. I could use the command point here to have him reroll once, but it's not worth it. So, oh no. Drop three? Oh well. Huh. That's average. You drop three out of nine. That's, that's yeah. correct. Seven to your eight. Yep. So five. fives. Uh, oh one. no. But it's all going wrong. No, no, no. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine? It's fine. Give me a five up. Oh, he takes it. Five. Why do I open my mouth at this point? Uh, I'm going to do some pot shots from here back there. I'm going to do the same thing again over there. Yep, yep, yep. Because uh, I need to kind of rid them off out of the way. I don't, I don't need to actually, because uh, I'm going to kill that in melee. So I'm going to do the pot shots in there still, and then do the um, 43 into the knobs. Okay. So let's start with the knobs. Oh, because remember, he's got a five invulns still. Yeah. Okay, cool. And you can't turn my invulns off anymore. And you're hitting my force. That's fine. Dope. I still suspect me to do more than that. So let's do this. I still have him to shoot. Amount of shots. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hi, up. And I reroll once now. Yay! Because I'm next to him. Yep. Hi, up. Oh, so good. So good. Boom. Drop two. Woo. And then it's now on threes. No. Oh, geez. All right, these are fives. Yeah. Save one, one more dies. Yep. And then four pot shots. Doing the pot shots into the stupid people over there. Uh, of course, everyone hits. Yeah. Try it. You'll never kill my grots. You'll never kill my grots. Five of end on the grots. Uh, one dies. One dies. You can just do like that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, just remove one <laughs> of them. That makes zero difference. Uh, huh? And then. That triggers leadership, though, right? Pot? Yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> that was your leadership. Run. So, for, for reference, when I chose for my uh, Dread Aura thing, for my um, Curious Knife, Harbing, Harbinger's ability, mm -hmm. I chose that if they fail a morale, which they're probably going to do, uh, one additional model roll runs as well. Fair enough. So, I'm going to try to just have them run off the table at this point. Luckily, I have 2 CP. Luckily, you do have 2 CP. If you want to save them for that, you're welcome. Um, I'm gonna do pot shots against these. Ah. Boom. Doesn't reroll anything of his own. Two hits. Can you kill me? Um, saving one. Bob the Builder, no we can't. All right, one dice, just flick it. Yep. And then we have the important three shots into this. Oh, that's how you're gonna kill me, obviously. <laughs> oh, of course that's what you're gonna do. Got him. Um, yep. I'm still hitting on three, so. Uh, that's better. All hits, winning on twos. His strength, 16. 16? <laughs> Boom! And two that's wounds. two saves. Do you have five up? That's sweet, sweet five. Oh no. Everything's going wrong. Oh no. Sweet, sweet five. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> Gork and Mork are angry. They're so happy for crumping. I'm sorry. There's so much crumping. It's fine. It's fine. I, no, no, it, was a, it was a good plan. I, I needed was, No, that, that was 100% the correct plan. So he hadn't killed any models yet. Oh, sorry. He killed one. He, he killed He killed one grass. You know what? His kill, Take your tally. His kill count? His kill count is one. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Oh, we, this guy, he's so cool, too. He's the champion of House Friedland. We have done the math. We, not even the math. We have done the, the measurements. I need a nine to get in here. Yeah, we screwed the movement up. That's why it looks more than a nine, but he, it's a nine inch. We, we pre measured. It's fine. Yeah. Um, so it's a nine, and I no longer have to charge both of them and just charge one. Uh, maybe. You might actually have to because your base is pretty huge. Can you get with it? It doesn't matter. If you can, I, I you're have fine. A, I have a pointy base, which I can put here. And, cool. and if you can't, then we'll just say you should have declared both anyway. It's yeah. fine. It's, it should be only one because one inch is up here, and then that's more than one inch. Yeah, you're probably right. You're probably yeah. right anyway. So unless they can heroically intervene, no. mark, then it's a nine. And I have my command point saved up for just this occasion. Fair enough. That's it. That's a fail. Right, command Here's pointing. Command pointing. This is important. Oh, brutal. Uh, no. Brutal. Oh, no. Uh, but I do have another charge, though. Yeah. Uh, and that is this one. Which looks like a four, maybe right five. Right there. That's just... That's five. Uh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Roll attack. 100%, 100 in. So he's in. Um, unfortunately, that's all it is. Uh, I could actually put myself like there. Did you get reroll range? Definitely. Get the reroll. Nah, he's only on range, so it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to put him right over there. Okay. Uh, so it is six attacks. Because his attacks don't degrade. All right. What are we hitting on? Hitting on force. He's still on force. This is his last wound. So, then they roll that. Boom. Top two. Pretty good, so. Yeah. And then he's strength 12. All right. Threes. So, winning you on threes. Magic number. Three saves. 
I don't use your disgusting dice. Wow. I don't need that nonsense. Gork and Mork will see me through. Oh, Gork and Mork will see me through. Bye, Ben Vaughn. You know, someone once told me that, and his name was Cooper, and he's on the Orc Discord, and I love this guy, but he told me that Fortress on Wheels is a useless upgrade for your battle wagon. He's wrong. All right, so I take two. Go and roll your damage, man. Yeah, so they're D3 plus three. Oh, you know, I'm going to spend a CP on that last one that I just rolled. Yeah, okay. All right, that one's safe. So just one. Do I get it? No, I do not. So nope. only one. Uh, it's D3 plus three. Yep. So it's a lot of damage still. It's not enough to kill it, and then it will just kill it back, which is unfortunate. Ideally. Uh, but he takes five. Five? You're down to six. six. Middle bracket. Middle bracket. And then you can attack back, sir. Well, uh, you want to tag me or anything so I can't pile in? Nice. Always do pylons and consolidation, people. If you don't know how to pylons consolidate, selfish plug, we have on Hoppy Crump and Wargaming a pylon consolidation <laughs> tactical it. overview. Do it. Watch it. It's not in person, but it's pretty good. Yeah. Oh, thanks, man. That's sweet of you. Yeah. All right. So, Battle Wagon. I watch your just, content, of course. You're of course. a beautiful man. Battle Wagon's going to strike him back. He has D6 attacks now, plus one for the WA. Uh, okay. So, he's got seven attacks still. Uh, all right. Listen. Things looked really bleak turn one, but then this turn, Gork and Work just said, nah, Orcs are going to do okay. I'm going to hit you on twos. Yeah. I dropped two of them. Yeah. And right now, I am bracketed, so my strength is six plus one, so my strength is only seven, so I'm going to win you on threes. Um, of course. Oh, I'm tough plus well. one for my death roll. So, then that's <laughs> strength eight. <laughs> We're going through this motions. Uh, that's three saves, AP two, damage two. Yeah, so if I fail any of these fives. I think you can do it. I actually don't, but you know, I kind of hope you do. Nah, he's gone. Do I explode? Oh, Ayo. Oh. Ayo. No. Ika. I did not. So the odds were a little bit against me here, but again, hitting on fours and trying to win more than once would be ideal. And I just did my little consolidation three inches this way. Yeah. Well, that was um really, really nice. I owe you leadership on my Gretchen. Um, Gretchen and the knobs. And the knobs, for sure. Yep. Gretchen right here. Uh, one will fail. No. Two. Two. Just take two out. How many are left? Five. Uh, five. So ones and twos? Am I, no, I'm in dread range, so it's ones, twos, and threes? Yeah, one, twos, and threes, baby. All right. Hold on. Hold on. All right, three left. Three are left. Thank you. And they're doing their job. And then for the knobs, they lost two. So their leash was seven, and they're within range. So down to six, and they lost two, so down to four. Yeah. So I need a four here. Give me that four. They're good. Why don't you roll just sixes, Jonathan? I wanted you to roll sixes. I'm sorry, buddy. I don't like disappointing you. I promise I don't. <laughs> so what I'm going to do in my morale uh, is that I'm going to have to use my storm yep. uh, over here. Mm -hmm. So like, he can't move anymore, which is really unfortunate for this. But I needed the angle to be able to make some shots. Definitely. So it is what it is. He might die. Uh, but if he doesn't, then uh, we should be good there. Uh, and I still have my six from him to use at some point as well. So... I should be gotcha. able to drive some there. But that's, again, on him only, so. Okay, so. End of the turn, you scored what? Just your storm for, that'll be next turn, but that's you scored storm four. next turn, the... but I have three objectives for the um, tyrannical thing. Yep. Uh, for Ruthless Tyranny, so I get that. And then I that. am still yeah, stuck on good. my four assassinate. So I'm at 12 there. I'm doing pretty good. The nine inch charge, if I would have made it, almost guaranteed. It's. Nope. Six damage, six tax damage, six. There we go, chocolate. Thank you. I need that right now. Diabetics need chocolate. We love it. Yeah. <laughs> we got you for a turn. Let's go. All right. Uh, we'll be back with orcs. At the movement phase. We're back. To bottom of turn three. So the orcs have to try to finish this off. Um, I think we're actually in a really good position because um, we got kind of blessed with a, a little bit of a whiff plus last round. Um, so we're just going to clean in for the kill. We have uh, Storm Boys deep struck in. We have another unit Storm Boys moved on up. They're going to charge both of these units. Uh, the Gretchen is kind of trying to get out of the way. Um, Battle Wagon has moved all the way over here. He's going to charge the Stalker who is currently doing the action. It's uh, Executioner. Thank executioner. You. Forgive me. I didn't mean it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, uh, War Boss and the Knobs are going to try to eat themselves a Desecrator. Desolator. Uh, Desecrator. Yeah. Desecrator. Desecrator. Forgive me. All right, cool. Um, that's the entire game plan. Basically, I've got almost no shooting. I'm just going to shoot the, the war boss's Scorcha. He's got one shot. It's going to wound on five. No win. And that's literally the entire shooting of the work phase. So <laughs> let us uh, go right into the charge phase. Um, I am going to go ahead and charge the uh, Storm Boys first to soak up any, so make sure that you can't overwatch. They're going to charge both units. I think it's like a four or five into this guy, into both yeah. of them. So angle is, I can't see anything. I just see a wall. Yeah. <laughs> and the reason why I'm charging them first is so I can't get overwatched and annihilated. Uh, a three won't do it though, so they'll just, here we go. 
Into a five dunk. Yeah. Not a lot of movement, but that's all I needed. We'll leave these two here. Yeah. All right, uh, I will try to charge these five here as well. They'll need a nine. Yeah, pre-measured, pre-measured. That's an eight, they'll try again. That's fair. And then I'll Ooh. charge the war boss in. It's a uh, two, maybe a three. You're not going to charge these uh, four little grots over here? No, no, they'll stay right where they are. <laughs> uh, Twelve with the war boss. Oh, so yeah, let's take this boy over here. He's very angry. Oh, you know what? Actually, I'm going to leave him right here because I don't necessarily need him to be not look out shirt so you get assassinate points. What? I know. <laughs> so this is, so guys, right here, this is like, um, when you have a really close game, you have to deny, if you can deny three points, deny three points. I have to use the war boss to kill this guy. But even though I rolled the 12 inches, I don't need to bring him all the way over here. Because if I do, he's not going to be lookout served, which means these guys will kill him and give him three points. Or four points. So instead, I'm going to hide him behind my knobs so that they're not going to be able to do that. It's, uh, it's just, just when, when you get to a little bit of a level of play, you need to do it. So the knobs make it in on the 10. There we go. Okay. Then it's very important that Jonathan now has a three inch of space right here. <laughs> Which he might forget again. We'll see. We'll three see. We'll see. Space. What do you mean? No, it's fine. What do you mean? I have no idea what you're saying, so I'm just terrified. <laughs> but I'm going to charge this uh, battle wagon into, into this execution right here. Would you like to watch that? Uh, I, you know what? I've chewed my points. No, you want to interrupt is what you want to do. That is <laughs> you, you, you do not want to interrupt. I'm just going to answer that for you, and he charged me. It would be fun, though. Yeah. Boom. Okay, let me just answer the question for you. <laughs> okay, uh, so first things first, I'm going to start with the knobs, because what he's going to do, he's going to interrupt, and he's going to kill my war boss. I have two CP, so I'm going to fight undead. Basically, what's going to happen. Uh, so knobs, currently I have one, two, three, four, and five claws left. So that is going to be 20 attacks. I just grab all my green dice. 20 attacks, huh? Yeah. Hitting on threes? Yeah, hold on just a little bit. Just making sure. So I have two things I can do. I can interrupt and I can minus one damage you. So these are all damage two, right? Yeah, the war boss yeah. will be damage three. The, da the war boss will be damage three. I still have the five plus, uh, sorry, six plus fiddle pain. Yep. So my contemplation here is, would I like to interrupt if he survives? Blow up. Or blow up. Blow up. would I like to, yeah, I can also blow him up like the, he wants me to just blow him up and kill a lot of stuff, including my own thing probably at some point. <clears throat> um, so my well, thought process on this, right? Yeah. My thought process here is, um, I think you make me minus one damage. Because yeah. if you interrupt, you're going to kill my war boss, but my war boss has two CP to fight a death. Yeah. So we'll just kill you back. Yeah, but then I will not have a chance to fight back if you successfully kill me. Because every, he has AP 4 but on these attacks. AP 4, damage 3, so he'll be on damage 2, but the knobs will be at damage 1 now. Yeah. But, oh, you don't have invulns at all, do you? No, I don't. That's tough. Yeah, I don't know what to tell you. Sorry, bud. No, I don't. That's yeah. why I'm I'm, my bad. I'm saying what I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Sorry. I'm still on maximum amount of wood, minus 1. Yeah. I am on a lot, 27 wounds. And he has 20 attacks now, failing on about half, maybe. I have 8 other attacks, and then I have an additional 7 attacks. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> right. So he's he's saying he's a lot of attacks. It's like 35 attacks and not all of them is going to make it through. Yep. Hopefully, that's my, my thought. You know, you know. So the thought here is by making everything else, I'm a feel of pains. So I think minus one damage on my entire dude, it's the correct call. I think it's better. So I'm spending I, I agree with you. Because he's going to die anyways if he survives these 20 attacks. And, you know. I, I think it's the correct decision. Yeah. Let's go. Do it. All right. Threes. No, oh, drops a decent amount, actually. You also explode on... Five. No, no, no. Uh, th sixes, sorry. Not no, five. I did threes. not spend that. So, so there's three of them, right? Uh, yeah, so three explosions. So yep. that was actually a pretty bad roll. So now, actually, it's looking like this is a great decision. Uh, so I'm going to win jump freeze. Yeah. That was a good conversion, though. Yep. That should be three, six, nine, uh, 11 saves. AP. AP three. Damage Ooh, or I damage still, one. I still have my sixes. Let's go. Then I am shrugging three of them, so I'm down four of them. Ooh, I'm down seven. Yep. Which means I am on fuel of pains for sixes. And I shrug right, so absolutely zero. Seven. Seven damage. Yeah. I am Apologies down. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm on twenty wounds. 
Shen Yu wins exactly. All right, so you're gonna live all through this wave at least. Yeah. Uh, so then I've got two big choppers. Yep. These are gonna hit you on twos. Go ahead. Ah, oh, excuse my language. I have a filthy mouth, I make no apologies. All right, and then I'll wind you on threes with these because it'll be a strength nine. Go ahead. AP1. AP1, these are on fours, thankfully. Uh, okay, I do roll so one. Damage, two damage, three damage, and then sixes. Little pains. Alright, so and two I short one, so two more. Thank Down you. 18 wounds. 18, wow. Yeah, yeah, um, this was the correct decision. 100% the correct decision. So then I've got one, two, three, four, five, six guys left. So that's six big, ch uh, six normal chopper attacks. Hit you on twos. Chop two of them, one explosion. Uh, these will be strength seven, so winning on fives. So two wounds, AP one, damage yep. one. So again on fours, okay, and on one, six and on sixes. Cool. Down to 17 wounds. Woo. Yeah, so this was 100% the correct decision. Um, they finished activating, so they'll just do their little consolidation nonsense. Yep. And I don't have any command points now to interrupt, so that means they can just go ahead and do whatever else he wants. So now the war boss will go into your dude. Yeah. I'm going to do his, first, his two attacks where he's first, hitting you on twos. Both it. And yep. he's going to win you on sixes with these. Uh, one wound, unfortunately. Yes. yes! Excellent! I don't want to hit that to win him on that, but that's okay. What's your AP on this? AP's one. Ooh. On fours? I save it. Thank All right, you. that's good. So that goes back in the pile as well. So I got six attacks with his killer claw, hitting on twos. Ooh, this one goes back in the pile. It's two explosions. Does it go back on when I say it? It went through the wounding phase. It didn't deal damage. Okay, it's the, it's the, it's cool, the cool, damage cool, stage, cool, not the wound. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, it's a ludicrously good warlord trait. Uh, strength 12, so winning on threes. Okay, those are all AP 4, damage 3. Yeah, they go through. They're all damage 2s. Yep. So I'm going to roll these twice. Yep. All 6s. Mm -hmm. So I'm shrugging 1, 2, three, 3 of them. And then roll again. Yeah, all of them. Thank you. Three, Say four, four out of 16. Two, three, four, five. No. So that's going to be 10 damage. Yeah. So he's down on two, seven wounds left. Woo, brutal. Woo. So then that's just going to be three more to see if doesn't have any saves. Chop one. Yeah. Threes. And that's going to be uh, it's four more damage. Four more damage. I'm just going to drop. Thank you. So feel the pains. Um, apps. Oh, wow. Brutal. What's the odds on that one, huh? That's not good. No. So and then down to three. Down to three. But I'm still alive, though. So but I have strong voice. Uh, I yeah. Have yeah, go ahead. All right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Should have blown them up. <laughs> Should have done the auto explode. I'm telling you. All right, so I'm going to have um, the knob and one, two, three, four, five guys going into the abominant and then. Well, I guess just one guy going to this into the executioner because I need him dead. Knob hitting on threes, one explosion, winning on threes. AP three, sixes. Yes. Yeah, so the minus one damage was better. It was the correct decision until the storm boy came in. I still think it was the correct decision. Sixes. Uh, he's dead. Does he explode though? I'm not gonna use your knight. You did roll a six though. Are you sure you don't want to use my die? That was a six. I specifically said I wouldn't. I'm just saying it was so, a six. I mean, if you want me to explode right here, I could, but... I, I don't want you to, but like... I, I specifically said I wouldn't. Yeah. I trust my dice to roll me a six at, you know, one six at a time, probably. Yeah. We're going to do it very aggressively. Hey! It was a six. <laughs> All right. All right, I'm going to take it while you roll your damage. Yeah, this is not... <laughs> not going to be good. So... Knight's explosions. All right, gross. Yeah, Chaos Knight's explosions are a big knight explosion. The big knights are not really interesting. Something. I'm gonna roll my one storm boy first. My one into your executioner first. He hits three times. Wounds of fives. Right, two wounds. AP one. Uh, so uh, what? Fours. Yeah. Uh, cool. Take one wound. All right. Ooh. Now you can do your explosion. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm gonna need three. I'm probably gonna lose more. I'm gonna use the first three dice to have the wound counter on the the boy. Yeah. What was the AP? If you want. On that one? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna change the last die so I didn't take any damage on that. Um, so oh, because you can turn it into six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Makes sense. Cool. So uh, big knights don't explode that often. You still have the stratagem to auto explode them. Uh, so I just have to make sure that I do this the correct way, which is... 2d6 range. It's 2d6 range, d6 damage. Yeah. yeah. It's gonna be gross. 
So, What's first fresh? off, I'm rolling range. Oh, range, range, range. Let's range, see. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Okay, yeah. Eight Ooh, inches. Ooh, that's big. It won't hit my Storm Boys or my Gretchen, though. No. It won't. So, it's just going to hit everything here. Yeah, it will. And we'll also hit my own and yeah. the snow rolls there, so... Um, so everything will take some damage. Uh, right. it's d6 damage, and your war boss is on five. Uh, don't do me dirty, don't do me dirty. I rolled one six so far, and I would really like to roll another six. All right, but we're gonna start somewhere else first. Oh, oh, we're saving the best for last. Yeah, okay, yeah, all right, all right. I was it. Storm Boys, Storm Boys, that's it. They take five damage. Ooh, should, have, should have done it. So you'll kill way four, you'll kill one, two, Why would I kill four? three, four. I'll put the last one in the knob. Okay, sure, makes sense. And then we have some uh, knobs over here. Yep. I'm gonna. Everybody, so my fat finger hit the button on, unfortunately, and you missed the explosion of the night death crater. Basically, I killed him. He killed all my storm boys in return. And, one wound uh, here, one wound here. Yeah. All my storm boys died, but the warlord and the, and the knobs didn't. Pretty unfortunate. So what he did is he spent a CP to fall back with this executioner here. The plan right now is to try to shoot, and then in the next turn, which will be turn five, he's going to try to see if he can get over here and get a charge to take my objective so he can do Storm of Darkness over here. And it's uh, it's reasonable. It makes sense. Um, I'm going to hopefully try to stop him from doing it. But that is the goal right now because he's trying to maximize points, and this is going to be a close one. So what do we got for us for shooting, sir? All right. So we have some pot shots because I need to do that. But before we do any pot shots, uh, I mean, I'm going to declare my, all my shots. All my shots. So he fell back. He's able to shoot and potentially charge. Not Ooh, a one scary. two, but he's gonna make his big shots in here. Yep. And he sees some knob. This knob is only one wound left. Yep. He's doing small shots in there. There's no, there is a minus to this. He's also on 10, so he's hitting you in force. Yep. But this yep. one, so he's doing small shots first. shots first. Four shots. One hit. One hit. Um, also no wound. wound. Okay, we did that. Wasted that. Yeah. <laughs> big clean, shots. Clean that out. So, let's do big shots and number of shots. One, uh, one, two, and three, then... four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Uh oh. These are not minus one to anything. Nope. The stratagem does not specify, which means that it is not minus one to it. Hit on three. Drop one, and that's cocky. You reel it. Um, you know, we we'll give you the uh, the uh, option there. Um, so yeah, that's one one drop, and then it's strength seven against the stuff is eight, which means it's still five. So Use art case, people. Art case is awesome. It's worth the fifteen points. Uh, oh, unless, that's a good roll, though. Oh. Unless I roll hot. Well, you know, it's okay, because I've rolled hot. I think it's fair for both of us to roll hot sometimes. Easy fives. Take six down. damage, and he dies. Does he blow up? Ah, I was really hoping he was going to blow up. Darn it. Well, that was good. Okay. Well, that actually helps you a lot. It helps me some. Not a lot. Oh, really? Some. So, uh, I still need to do more damage here. So, I have this guy. Yep. He's able to do... Shots into here, and yep. you can also see those stupid grots behind here. Don't you hate Gretchen? I hate Gretchen. Gretchen so are the worst. <laughs> small shots into the Gretchen, yep. and I've placed him actually so that his character Super is annoying. the closest model. Which means I can really, really just ignore Lookout Sir and shoot him directly in his face. And so this is a really important point, guys, because this is something I could have avoided had I been a more intelligent boy. So for your competitive play... Make sure you don't give him this often. I very easily could have done it, but because I didn't, now he's got the shot. And this, there's no feel bads here either, right? This, this is, is actually, this, this, this is 100% is, is learning, right? This is 100% learning, and you didn't have the shot because he didn't die from those. He died from the storm boys behind him, so he couldn't move these closer at oh. all. Oh, you're right. You're right. 100%. 100%. So never mind. Uh, everything I just said is stupid, and Lassa is the man. Cool. <laughs> uh, so small shots first. Yep. Let's just get some grass off the table right. uh, at this point. What? Uh, yeah, so three AP zero. Sixes. Very right. dead. They're dead. That's a unit. Cool. Poof. Did absolutely nothing for me. Now, this is the important part. Uh, I still have my slash, sorry, Siege ability. Very important. Do not mix up those gods. Uh, siege ability, I can change any die roll here into a six at some point. It says and it's after you roll it, right? Any die roll after I roll it. And this is a new turn, so you can do it again, right? Okay. Yeah, so. absolutely. So let's do amount of shots into your war boss. I could shoot these. Let's be honest, this is not, I'm not really, really concerned about that. Yep, you're trying to get points. I need this asset and he just kills this automatically. Yep. This one, these ones do not. It also would have the minus one damage and my turn. So let's do this importantly. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Five shots. I need two of these to go through. So I think five shots is better than making this into a six to get two more shots. You're better off making one a wound that didn't wound, I think. That is correct. Yeah. So five up in so it's like, I think that's More shots for the chance is worse than having the guaranteed hits here. So let's go. Uh, hitting on threes. So four hits. That is four hits. Pretty good. One dropped. Whew. 
All right, all right, we're getting nervous. Strength seven. T6. Six. So winning on threes. And then, oh no, look at this one. It, it turns into a six. six. All right, so, so at this point, saves. this will actually be a one at a time roll because I'm not rolling your dirty, disgusting dice. <laughs> I am a gork man until I die. All right, so I'm gonna take three damage. He's got one moon left. Okay. Looks pretty good. All right, I'm actually gonna spend the CB. Yep. Ah! He's got it, he's got it. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh goodness. He's alive on one wound. He's alive on one that wound. That was uh, horrifying. So, what I could have done differently here, I could have just assigned all shots in here. Yeah. Uh, but then again, it's the unit of grots would be uh, annoying for points anyways. So what I might possibly do is charge him to get the gear guaranteed kill. Yep. It's not a guaranteed kill, but I need it. So I'm gonna do now the, uh, since he's over here, I can't shoot his character, but I can shoot my big shots in here. Mm. I can also use my small shots to try to clear off the wound of the, the knob. Uh, or I can shoot these and they will probably, hopefully fail to morale. We'll see. I mean, I've we'll got see. enough for, but what, what, what he's, he understands that I'm gonna have to spend two CB to fight undeath to make sure I kill the knight. So he knows I'm not gonna auto pass morale over here. So that can make sense. It could make sense. Um, this is one of those moments where I have to think just a little bit, but it is thankfully uh, a game where every decision counts, right? That's the important part here. And clearing this unit out, what does that give me? It gives him the opportunity to score more points. Uh, he only needs a couple more points on the behind enemy lines. And killing the character, I think, is more important. And killing the knobs as well, just playing one off and then killing maybe two more, would mean that they would hopefully run on Could be. on uh, on uh, morale. It's better for me for them to run yep. than for him to run. Yep. Or for them to run. So I'm gonna shoot four shots into the knobs, trying to get the mega knob out of the game. All right. Hitting on threes goes away. His eye placed him over here. Yep. Just He's touched it. it. Super good. Yeah, and then technically we, correct is the best type of correct. In yes, Warhammer. absolutely. Yeah. Strength finally answer your toughness five. Yes, sir. So that is one AP zero, sir. You mean that's what you four up? Four at four. No, four. he got him. That is one. And then the rest of the shots go. That was actually here. a big deal. Like, yes, <laughs> absolutely. So, uh, amount of shots. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. Not a good time. No, but oh, uh, micro cheating. Even not even micro is very very cheating. Uh, <laughs> just kidding. Um, rolling hits. Three. Dropping oh, three, gosh. then threes. And ah. dropping two more. It's very unfortunate. Six up in bone. All right, one more dice. That means the two of them have died, which means that the leadership is now minus a lot. And he also has minus one to hit in melee because I chose that uh, Harbinger ability. Yep. Um, which is useful. It's not as good as I hope, but it is useful. Mm -hmm. Now the charge. I have to charge both because yes. his unit is not touching. And it is close enough so that my unit would be, no matter what I do, close to hitting both of these as well. So I have to choose to charge all both of these two units. Mm -hmm. It is not a big charge. Yeah, it's probably like a three or four, maybe. Uh, I have to go around the corner, so it is actually, it is a four. Okay. I have no rerolls. And now I said it, now I'm not going to hit it. Oh, jeez. So. The nervousness. There's oh, the four. You're good. There's you're the safe. four. Safe. I, I saw the one. The I heart was the beating. One. The heart was beating. <laughs> So I'll put him right there. Yep. Should be within one and one. You're going to split your attacks? <laughs> <laughs> so, what I could do... Just kidding. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so what I could do, actually, I could have charged him and hit there, but that would just give you a free melee attack yeah, yeah, as yeah. well. So there's no, no point. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have him, all of his attacks into his war boss to kill Easy. him. He's going to fight on death. And then we're going to have to roll somewhere else to yep. see what happens after. So let's roll some hits. I'm hitting you on threes. Boom. All hits. Ooh. Top death six on my guy. I am strength six. The fours. One. Oh. Ooh. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right. AP one, because they're charged. Fours. And he dies. He Ooh. is dead. I will spend two CP, obviously. Down to one. And then I'm just going to kill you back. So let's do the attack swigs first. Yep, yeah, minus one to hit. One misses, the other hits. On a three. Wounds on a six. Yep. Yeah. Doesn't wound, thank wow. goodness. And then the killer claw attacks for six. Minus one to hit, remember that. Yeah, I'm plus one to hit, so. Yeah. It's still twos. All right, and that's gonna be one explosion. <laughs> and then threes. So that's gonna be 12 damage. 12 damage is AP4, right? Yep. Does it blow? Does it blow? There she blows! Oh no! There she blows! Everything's going wrong! 
Uh, blowing into the knobs. Hopefully I'll get Did another. Stop blowing into my dudes. No. <laughs> stop blowing dudes. Oh. Uh, There's only one. One. So one takes a win. Yeah. We'll just transfer this to be right about Yeah. Yeah. So he dies and more boss dies, that maxes your assassinate though. That and it gets your free CP. No, wait, no, it doesn't, because it wasn't attack. It was an explosion, not an No, attack. he killed him on an attack. Oh, he did? That's after. true. So That's get true. the CP. Heck and yeah. That's actually nice. The CP. The CP. The CP. Could actually give me minus one damage if I wanted to, but it's too late now, because we jumped ahead. It's also 14 wounds. He would have had... Oh, yeah, yeah. He was, he was dead. I had a lot more attacks, too. Yeah. He was, yeah, he was, yeah, he was yeah. dead. He was still dead. <laughs> So, uh, I think that's it. I have one command point just to kill the character with my assassinate. Uh, you, you owe me some morale, sir. I lost two and I'm minus two, right? Yes, you're minus two and you will... Uh, so I need a three. Yep, yeah, you're right. There it is. There it is. It stands. That's it. Is, would, this would have been Kadia. It would still stand. <laughs> right, and that is my turn. I'll score points because I hold the three because um, it's uh, seek objectives on this mission. I'll hold the three, and I'll be within range on the three. Yeah. Oh, yeah. For your, for your. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. With the and there's no point. I have no storm I can do. Yep. So I think that's it. I max my assassinate. I am 12 on. Uh, actually, I'm 12 on all my other secondaries. I'm doing pretty good secondarily. Yep. Uh, I'm just not doing good pri with primaries. Yep. And uh, orcs are doing better on primaries and almost soon secondaries as well. He's got the free 15. Uh, almost two free 15s. So. So it's essentially what's going to happen now, guys, is my knobs are just going to kind of move up right here. Uh, actually, I'm currently moving right here so he can't overwatch me. Uh, my storm boys are just going to come right here. I got the good bits. Can, I got the good bits. I'm max on behind me lines. I'm max on good bits. And I'm just going to charge my storm boys. He can't overwatch me. I'll need like a five or a six. This is pretty fair, right? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. Oh. All right uh, four. Uh, that's probably good, but I'll just... A four. Oh. Uh, Can you tell me that's four? Because I could have failed that actually. It is F five. Yeah. Well, uh, for this guy. For yeah, every it's guy. Totally. All right. So oh. they actually failed the charge, which is really not good. Um, and so you, did the, the, you did the data intercept, right? And you get oh, yeah, one, two, three, because you now stole my point. Yep. You rascal. I do put you on a zero for your primary for your last turn. Uh, two. It's sticky. You get four. Oh, nice. All right. Cool. Still get it. Yep. So, uh, we are jumping very fast ahead here. I get another CP and then another. So I'm mm -hmm. on three, and he's also on three. <laughs> Getting all those command points. I score only four points holding one. Yep. And that's my final turn of scoring primary. I could do the action if I would have been standing right here. I am so far behind on primaries that I am very unable to do that. Uh, and the last thing I could have done is assassinate. There's no point. My game is over. It is 77, 77 points to me. And uh, Jonathan here will maximum everything and get the perfect 100. Awesome. No matter what I do, that's how we do it. It is unfortunate the die betrayed me, but the one die I need. I'm just kidding. It was it was a balanced game. Uh, it's a dice game, and we drank beers and we had fun. So let's uh, well, let's take like 30 seconds. We'll be right back, and maybe we'll talk about some things we could have done a little bit different in the game. And uh, we'll be right back, guys. All right, thanks guys for watching. Uh, so we're just gonna kind of talk a little bit things we could have done a little bit differently. So um, we were just talking about this guy over here. What were your thoughts on that? So. I have a big guy, right? Uh, his his um, fellow pain goes off on a six, and being able to just stand there, 28 wounds, toughness a five plus fellow pain on him, six plus on the other guy, mm -hmm. um, means that the durability of the units, units multiple, uh, is way more than you most expect. With minus one damage and then fuel pains and everything, that would all have been as your orcs, but 28 wounds and 14 of the small ones. Yeah. And then came the orc wave, and they just killed everything on the way over there. One turn, he was just gone. The Beat explosions are how you get past chains hit. Yeah. Explosions. And yeah, with the trans hit, the no rerolls and everything. Uh, it was too much, way more than I expected, and half my army, more than half my army was over here. Yep. Uh, so I could have done that. It would have made some difference, I think. Um, not the, the, the biggest one, which we talked about as well, which was over here. Yeah, so one of the things that Lhasa, I think, could have done a little bit better, and we've talked about these things, so we practice for like team tournaments and stuff. So even if you think you're going to lose an individual matchup, in teams, 
scoring every point really matters, right? So one of the things Lhasa could have done is he could have had his knight who has been cut in half by my war boss. <laughs> uh, well, he, he did explode, right? He did explode. He could have had him sitting here instead of here. And just this difference means I didn't deep strike and I never teleported, which would have denied me at least six points. Um, in 14 tournament, that matters a lot. So literally it's three inches of movement that would have changed the end that would have completely changed the game. They could have won our, his team the, the game. Um, the it wouldn't make much difference in our game. Not, not, not in an individual, yeah. Not in an individual, but for teams. Um, now, my, my theory when I was deploying was I knew that he has an advantage in this particular matchup. So what I figured is I would put minimum amount of dedication on this flank. And if I got in with it, I could really mess him up because my beast boss can, can carve through him. And if I fail it, I'll hold this one. And with all my good bits actions over here, it, it, it worked out pretty well. I'm actually am pretty surprised by the way this that by the way this went. I had some pretty lucky rolls. Uh, Lhasa did whiff on his death cannon. It was bad. <laughs> um, yeah, well, the, the, you say that, but again, your secondary is way better than mine. I score, if you come to me, I can score maximum 15 on the last night. Just yeah. that way I get zero. That's true. Um, you get 15 on the good bits, you get 15 on your... Well, that's what I'm saying. My lines is not 15. Yes, no. you, right? Yeah, it's like nine. You, right. Or seven, or something like that, right? But... Yeah. By just playing the game and shooting my dudes, yep. you get bringing them down. Just by shooting and attacking anything. I would say not shooting against you. Know, or shooting. But, or shooting. <laughs> but just playing the game and moving up and charging my units yeah. means that you score approximately 10, 12, 16, 18, which might already yourself on that. Uh, just by playing the game. Just moving up and, and doing the objective game and also pushing the game back. Totally. Back. Totally. So the problem with that is at night, you can't really stop it. So you can just you can play the Defensively, and then you won't score any primary, secondary, whatever, because you need to be on three points. Yep. Um, but you just have to like trust that the dice won't really do too much out of the average, and yep. then you should be good from there. But yeah, it was a good game. Uh, it's uh, hard to do anything against all this. Uh, all of these. All, all this American beefcake right here. Uh, should I just, yeah, should I just pick up and walk out? No, no, don't, don't demasculate me right now. <laughs> so only playing nine models, and he has like a lot. Uh, means that he has. I mean, everything he faces is dead. We all have, dead. Look at this death pile. It's glorious. I, I mean, I lost only seven models. Seven models are dead. You lost. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'm still stuck with my two dudes, and there's no point in me running over and grabbing the objective. There's, nope. I can't really do much about it. Nope. And he'll grab this one back, and then the game is pretty much over. So, yeah, in, in a way, we all won. We in all win. We all won. <laughs> hey, everyone, all you happy, crump, and wargamers, thanks so much for tuning in. If you like some of the tactical stuff that we were talking about in this game, check out some of our other videos where we kind of give tutorials about how to play the game of Warhammer 40k. We love you. Until next time, happy crumping. Yay.